What's up, folks? What's up? Welcome back. Welcome back to the crypt. I am, as always, your humble host, Raven. And, um, yeah, so, one second. Just want to, uh, just catch up on a couple of, uh, a couple things I missed out on. A couple of Revan Shaney videos, plus some other, uh, a Cyrax video. And, um, I just found this guy yesterday. His name is Black Onion. Hope he likes me. Uh, but I'm gonna shout his channel out. Maybe if someone can, uh, Mouse, see if you can put Black Onion's channel in the uh, chat. You should definitely check him out. He's definitely a, a, a funny, funny dude. But here, we'll watch that. And um, we will uh, we'll start having fun. But what's up, Lynn? What's up, Mousy? Kitty Cutty, how you doing? All right, so let's check this out because it is pretty, pretty damn funny. <laughs> But guys, thanks for being here. Please like the stream, do everything. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, I'm hoping this uh, can be uh, a, a drama-free video, as drama-free as possible because it's Christmas time. You know, it's time to be with the family. That's what I've been doing lately. I've been really busy and that's what I love to do with my life. I don't have, you know, energy wasted on uh, certain people, but... Um, and like I said before, I, I that what I did was a one and done or a two and done. Uh, they keep me out of their mouth. I'll keep them out of my mouth. It's really plain and simple. But I am going to start sticking up for myself and uh, expect some future uh, collabs with some certain people that will um, definitely keep uh, opening uh, people's minds and eyes to what has been going down the past few months, you know, uh, the internet is definitely a thing that happens, you know, on the outside and on the inside. And I guess certain people understand what I mean by that. You know, it can definitely mess with you in many different ways. And it's always good just to take a breath and realize, hey, it's just the internet. Especially if, you know, um, if people aren't uh, trying to pull you back and be like, dude, uh, you know, um, I think this doesn't sound right or this and that. But I was glad that I did have the right people on my uh, in my community. So, guys, thank you for everyone who's been here from the beginning and uh, supporting me. I do definitely appreciate you. And what's up? But let, yeah, let's get started. Let's watch. Uh, let's watch the funny videos and just get back to uh, uh, having a uh, good and fun time. You know, because after all, my channel for people who don't know it really is a neutral channel. Anyone can hang out. It's not up to me who gets timed out. It's really up to the viewers because the viewers give me this spot. So I give the viewers the control of the chat. So <laughs> without further ado, let's get into this. But I hope everyone is having a, uh, a, a good, uh, good Sunday evening. Uh, but here we go. Yeah, check this out. This is funny as hell. Oh, you teddy bear five five fifty five. <laughs> That's into my name, teddy bear. You don't know why I come up with that name because I don't know either. I just come up with it because I like teddy bears and I have fifty five teddy bears. And that's I keep I live in my parents' basement. That's right. And I don't really have keep jobs that's right, right kitty because you know I'm always breaking the law. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yes, now, he is speaking of breaking the law. I stole money from my friends. 
Yes, That's you what did. good guy I am. And I haven't paid them back and have no intention of ever paying them back. But I still expect them to be my friends. And I'll tell you what, either. I don't like Carrie. Now, <laughs> a lot of people have problems with Carrie. But my problem is I'm obsessed with her and she doesn't want to sleep with me. I want to have sex with her and she, she's married and that pisses me off. So I make videos talking about her. I'm completely obsessed with her and Carrie. Yes, I am. And she talks. And she's definitely more intelligent than I am. Yep. Thanks, Fassie. And definitely way out of my league because, you know, my league is, is the really, you know, but ugly league. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm not an ugly guy, but I'm very stupid. And stupid, you know, counts for being ugly and when, when it comes to women and stuff like that. So that's a bad problem right there. And I kind of be a coke addict. Although, I couldn't even afford a dime bag of Coke. <laughs> I'm just so stupid. You know, I couldn't get an eight ball of Coke to save my ass. But I'll claim it. I'm addicted to it. But really, yeah, it's I'm, funny. I'm addicted to over-the-counter diet pills. Yep, that's right. I'm I not agree, on a diet or nothing. But you know, I take whatever pills I can get. And, they, you know, I don't even know what that. I, I take, you know, whatever pills I find in my parents. Uh, yeah, I just want to just interject just real, real quick, you know, make a little a little transformative and just say, I'm glad, like, I don't know this onion person. I hope he likes me. Who knows? He might think I'm an a-hole, but, you know, it is what it is. You can't make everyone happy. I just try and make the people that are in the community happy and give you guys a laugh. But any anyway, I digress. Um, I just, I still, no matter what, like seeing other perspectives. Somebody I never talked to, somebody who I don't know whose community or group they're in i just see that they see the forest for the trees they see what this guy's all about you know he's just like he he's hypersexual and he likes to be try to get with married women and harasses them um a lot oh and by the way by the way to all the females who do watch me uh i was warned that uh i think his name is silent he's done some messed up stuff so uh please everyone be careful of silent happy december you too uh miss monarch happy uh december to you um i hope uh everything's uh, going good but yeah, anyway, I, I do just want to, you know, because people just said, hey, just, you know, no talking crap. And they didn't really go into too much. They just said uh, they had to let him go in a, in a community, a Carrie's community, actually. And that's why uh, Lol's Cow hates them and makes these dumb videos. So, uh, yeah, I didn't know that about Sonic. I didn't know he could be gross, you know, but, you know, I'm not surprised. <laughs> so and for all the females out there, please be careful talking to that guy named Sonic. I heard he can be very, very strange and he doesn't take rejection, just like all these other people. Uh, you know, cabinets and stuff, old, for, you know, expired stuff and things like that. I crunch up in powder and pretend like it's cocaine so people think that it's cool and... You know, when I went to stolen money from my friends, I did buy some cocaine. Now, that was all in the past. So <laughs> yeah. don't hold that against me, because that was in the past. That was like a few days ago. <laughs> now I'm going to court, because all the way in the past. Know, I beat the hell out of my sister. I'm a tough guy, and I'm not <laughs> afraid to fight women. I'm afraid of Black Onion. I'm definitely afraid of the Black Onion. The Black Onion's a real man, and I'm not. I'm a man boy, and I'm not even... I'm really a boy boy, because... I'm not even a man to be a man boy. I'm not even man enough to be a man boy. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm definitely afraid of that black onion. I am terrified of that guy. I am scared of him. Hey, you wouldn't believe, but I'm obsessed with Carrie. I'm afraid of black onion. I'm a hot mess. That's right. I'm a, just a dumbass. You know, out here in my parents' garage. Yeah, you know, because I'm not allowed to be in the house during daylight hours. I'm supposed to be out looking for a job, but... My, I'm trying to get a YouTube channel to get monetized so I don't have to get a job. Good so luck I can with be that. like Elvis Travels. That's right. That's what I want to be. Yep. And I am absolutely the dumbest dude on the internet. Almost. But uh, there's some dumber people out there. Eric Cyrex. He's dumber than me, but he's not the only one. He's not That's far right. behind. And like Cyrex, <laughs> I live in my parents' house as an adult. Yep, I do. And like Cyrex, I'm afraid of my own shadow. Fuck you. Black onion. I would kick your ass if I was a man, but since I'm not a man, I can't kick your ass. That's right. I am just a pussy. 
Uh, absolute puss card. That's right. <laughs> well, that's my confession for today. Okay, and then it kind of, uh, uh, I think it just doesn't, uh, it stops right there. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, check him out. That was funny as hell. Uh, it's called uh, Black Onion. He only has 367 subs. So definitely uh, check him out. Leave him a like. Um, I don't know the guy, but I'm really trying to, you know, meet new people. I saw his video yesterday. It cracked me up for like hours. Like, I don't know. The voice, the voice for him, for Teddy, was just perfect. Chef's kiss perfect. So I wanted to play that because, you know, I wanted to give the guy some uh, recognition because, you know, we should always pay it forward, you know what I mean? All right, so let's see. Uh, I know I have some Shanny videos I need to watch. So I don't know. I, maybe I'll start watching the Shanny video, and then I'll watch the uh, Cyrex video where he starts talking about the illegal trolls. And I'm telling you, Cyrex, he's definitely a dude that just needs to get off uh, the internet. I think uh, this has been too much for him, but he's... He's more addicted to it, definitely, than, than Shani is. But I think how Shani gets her fix is she uh, makes Rep do it. All right, folks. So if you didn't know, um, oh. if you didn't know, I do have an archive channel. Uh, me and the crew, we made an archive. That's why I'm Draven Script Incorporated, meaning I have other people help me. Thumbnails, uh, uploading videos, st stuff like that. Um, you know, because you never know. And this way, this can always uh, live on. So, uh, yeah, so it's called Draven Archive. Uh, if, if you want to check it out, uh, just to have our, uh, our own archive channel, because who knows what's going to happen to them one day, you know what I mean? So, let's see. Um, I guess I'll start with uh, Rev. Shaney didn't say, start anything, and then I'll move backwards. Now, uh, before I start this, not gonna lie, I think it's, uh, I heard something about the, uh, that, uh, G-Man was gonna give him, or ask him for $6,000, uh, I never knew about that until recently, I do wanna ask him about it, oh yeah, and for everybody else, the, just because I have G-Man, like, on the channel, do a podcast, yeah, I really do it just to trigger people and piss people off, <laughs> Uh, what I know is he wants to be different and I try to give people a chance because, you know, that is human. It is human to err. And I think the air it depends on how bad you air. But it doesn't mean I forgive anything or I'm co-signing anything he's ever done or said. But I'm trying to give uh, a chance to hear him out because none of the other, most of the other channels aren't able to have him on to hear his side of the story, even if it's BS. So I just wanted to explain that for people who don't like G-Man. <laughs> don't worry, folks. Uh, all the donation stuff still goes to me. So, uh, you know, he doesn't get anything out of it just, you know, besides being on the channel. So here, let's uh, check this out, guys. And yeah, I hope everyone's having a nice and uh, a, a, a nice, not too cold evening. Ha ha. Where do you get hey guys, what's money? up? I ain't gonna wait for people to come in or nothing. All right. So I got a little uh, bedtime story. All right, Kathleen, you. what's up? Because apparently it's uh, out there with people going, "Hey, wait a minute, Shanny. Why? Wait a minute. Hey, Rev. Why didn't you tell Shanny?" to uh apologize to g-man because this uh she's the one that started this so let's have a little bedtime story and tell you the truth because if you're going to anybody if you're going certainly if you're going to him for your truth about what happened you're not going to get it hi gucci trolls so Liar! let's go back how long ago was this now shit time is flying at this point i don't know let's say it's Oh, you're All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna let this idiot just riff raff talk this uh, ha 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 talk. But before he does, I just want to interject this. I've been watching them since 2019. I know this story. I've heard. The, I've seen the story go down. I've heard the story from Rev. Heard it from Shani, and I've heard it from G Man, and I've heard it from him privately. So I I have many versions of what they're gonna say. And what I could tell you is, I think between. Um, Shani or Rev being Shani and Rev being racist towards him, 
he gave it to hit the, the house to him for so cheap number one number two uh rev owed a lot of back taxes on that home number three the home was in major major disrepair remember rev is like the boy in the plastic bottle bubble folks he doesn't know how to do anything for himself he really is a you know he is what they wanted to do to us men in the future just make us wimps and not be able to like fix things in our own home or fix our own vehicles and i say you know uh f that you know i am a type of guy that likes to get down and know when i'm driving and know what, what, what i'm living in and try to fix it so i don't have to you know pay out the ass so to speak so anyway i think it makes you a better person for it, especially a better man and you can also pay to or get money to help out the neighbors when when their stuff breaks or whatever but anyway rev doesn't know how to do anything he doesn't have a skill you know he has no skills at all so um he needed to get rid of the home and he needs someone to pay off the taxes and to fix it. Um, now, there's been talk back and forth that there was money talked about, like you would get this amount of money, whatever. I don't know. I mean, I heard sometimes, yes, you were supposed to get a portion, but maybe G-Man wanted to get him um, away from Shanny. And let me tell you folks right now, in case for anybody who doesn't know, there is so many channels out there that offered Rev money, offered Rev um, housing assistance, a, a hotel to stay in to get away from Shanny. So this ain't the first time that someone has done it. But I think with some people, and like I said, I, I ain't sucking up to G man, but I'm just trying to explain because he did it and people don't like him, then he's the this, that, and the other thing. Which is, you know, the, the typical na nature of YouTube. And I'm just trying to be straight because, uh, you know, I don't care. I want people to know the truth, to know what went down. A lot of weird stuff did go down the past couple of years with a lot of these creators. Uh, you know, I'm talking about the early creators. But he was offered to get away from her. So, you know, I don't think that g-man ever had it in his mind to ever give that money but you know that's just a little background on why they gave him the house because he couldn't take care of it he couldn't afford it he had he gave both houses the one he's in now the uncles and to his uncle and the one that g-man had he just gave it away for like a dollar because he just couldn't uh take care of it a year ago let's say it's that it's probably a little over a year ago maybe I don't know. Time is going so yeah, crazy right now. I agree, now. Kathleen. It oh, hey, matter. Charlie. We were in the hotel. That's all I really need to tell you in terms of the time. We were in the hotel, and yeah, G-Man was providing money for us to be in the hotel, which we appreciated. It's a shit hotel. It was it was filled with <laughs> drug dealers can't and shit. Be choosers. It was horrible. But it was a roof. It was filled with drug dealers. I think, is he talking about himself? <laughs> <laughs> I think he is, you know, I mean, you, you know, those, I, I miss those, uh, streams. If you guys have ever seen those, I'm going to try to see if I have any to put on my Draven archive channel, uh, when they were in the, uh, when they were in the hotel, the little motel, those were, those were interesting. They were on something and I, it was more than just Delta eight. Okay. I mean, allegedly. So we're there, and and uh, I guess Shanny hey, pulls Yvonne, up YouTube, up? see what's going on. And G-Man had done a video about Burnt Toast. And if you don't know who that is, I, don't even worry about it. It's another YouTube reaction channel that takes the piss on me and Shanny. So, sorry. So, she goes on there, and she sees, uh, like, a thumbnail image to a video about Burnt Toast in some way. I don't know what the title was. I can't. I didn't even see it. I didn't see the post at all. It's just something that Shanny saw, and the thumbnail sure. was Shanny punching burnt toast avatar. Okay, <laughs> number one. Okay, she is so violent. G Man thought it was just fine, knowing that this perception of Shanny is out there that she's violent. Okay, that perception is out there, and he is perpetuating it. By putting her in a picture, punching burnt toast avatar, okay? Shanny did not like that, number one. Number two, in this video, 
he called at least burnt toast, and it may have been others. It may have been Jules and maybe some more females that say that they are Christian girls. Yeah, they, they're reaction channels and stuff. Yeah, and they talk about us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, folks. I just wanted to throw this in here while he's saying about that. Shani has this false perception, folks, that she's violent. You know, that it, Shani likes to get a little slappy. <laughs> um, okay, now if you look at the date here, uh, June 7, 2022, approximately 2202 hours. Um, uh, I guess state one, our first offense, simple assault, harassment, physical strike kick on the second one. So, um, that was, uh, well, that this one was, uh, Jason this time, but on the second page, it says that she, um, what do you call it? That she gave, um, she threw a bag of chips here. Let me, let me get that for you. Because that really does paint the picture of this whole thing. If you guys actually never have uh, seen it before. And I think it's it's very important. Because, yes, uh, Jason uh, Rev, he was violent to her children. And he, that wasn't the first time. And I could say allegedly, but also in my opinion, I feel like that is the truth. Uh, the way he talked to them when he was driving from Colorado, that was friggin' horrible. She should have left him that day. Um, so, Jason, ha oh, I didn't do anything wrong. And um, Shani uh, was watching a TikTok and she heard a lot of smack or whatever. But after she, where is it? I know it's somewhere that she threw a bag of chips at his head. And like, I, yeah, I get it. Chips, you know, oh, right here. She, yeah, I got into an argument over politics to the point Shannon had thrown a full bag of Tostillo's chips at his back. Now, why am I showing that? It's just to show a pattern of behavior that, yes, sure, it's chips. It's not hurting a uh, child the way this piece of crap did. Uh, but it does show that Shani, Shani, uh, let's put it this way, likes to gaslight Rev. You know what I mean? She knows what button that buttons that she needs to press to get him mad. And she knows that he's not going to take it out on her because he's afraid of her. She's like a linebacker next to him. But he will take it out on her kids. And she shouldn't have done that knowing that this dude was a ticking time bomb. He was a dry drunk because he never tried to go, you know, uh, get on Librium or something for his alcoholism, 12-step program to learn to deal with it. He just went from alcohol, cross-addicted to marijuana, and then now to uh, Delta 8. So he's pretty unstable. Would I uh, allow him around any, any of my kids or any kids in general? Hell no. Because I don't know what he's going to do next, you know? I mean, I feel like his brain is pretty much mush uh, at this point, folks. You shouldn't assume that means that we're going to hate them back, though. Okay? Because we don't. They're just doing whatever the fuck they have to do. That's Exactly, fine. Vaughn. No excuse. Shani uh, heard that. He's calling, I think it was Jules and Burnt Toast, I think. Call them whores. Now, for the people that are stating that Shani started this... Can you tell me, do you support G-Man calling female Christian girls on YouTube whores? Do you support that? I didn't. And I certainly didn't support him making a thumbnail of Shani punching anything. Because that's just going to perpetuate the perception that's false that she's violent. Yeah, he sounds very childish. He, you have no idea, Gucci trolls. The perception. Like I know folks. you're not into that whole side, the YouTube thing. That's good that you're not. Okay, I'm telling you right now, it's good that you're not. It's he's he's like a toddler, or a like a middle school kid. His mentality, everything is about image and am I tough and do I look like a man and 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 a Christian facade. That's what it is. It's a facade. He uses his Christianity as a shield and a, a mask to deceive for his own purposes of ego. That explains him completely. Yeah, that's not my thing. When groups of people gang up on one person, that's like literally there's an entire community dedicated to that. And they destroyed our lives. They got focused on us. 
harassed us so bad that we had to get into an apartment with security, a townhouse with security that we couldn't afford, but we were there because we felt secure. And that's why we went broke. <laughs> the main reason we went broke that's is because fault, we dumbass. got swatted. No, dude, swatting is when the police come in with like uh, uh, AR-15s pointing them at your head. Um, a wellness check because uh, you were sw you were at the house. That was the, one of the first times you was at the apartment when you weren't supposed to be. And they called on you because you guys kept making videos. That was the wellness check to fix, uh, to get you guys, to, to actually get her away from you because she was the aggressor uh, in that scenario, Rev. In Colorado. And it Just forced us it into out, a situation man. where we felt we needed security. I've seen it happen with other people. Yeah. Yeah. And it happened with a man that it happened with us in a very messed up, psychotic way. And this guy is furthering that. He, he is absolutely, man, that's crazy looking. I saw a UFO behind me. Um, <laughs> street light, I think. But anyway. Yeah, Gucci trolls. We helped him with the house. It's That's crazy, isn't it? And I, I never said it before, but I said it in the video I did yesterday. You're talking about two people. It's, it, it's insane. Who would treat two people that literally gave them a roof over their head like this? It, it's insane. It's really crazy. But that's who he is. That's who this guy is. And do I regret giving it to him now? Kinda, yeah. And the reason I do is because I think he's fake. I don't believe he's a real believer. I think he's using this as a mask to come to people seeming like he's a sheep and he's a wolf because he's his ego is so massive, guys. And for him to do you guys this now, it's just, yeah, it's really wrong. Even if he ended up not liking us and he really thinks we're, we're horrible people. If he thinks we're horrible people and racist, really? Actually? Uh, he, <laughs> Rev, 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 are you... Are you serious right now? I want to make it very clear. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now, Rev? clear folks you know i just had a revelation from god do you know what that is there's a guy on youtube trigger a warning fat, people a big one a big fat fucking <laughs> he's got these black rim glasses he's got all these people that give him money because i don't know why they give him fucking money but <laughs> i just want everybody to know that but he ain't racist that follows that guy he is the biggest most disgusting sweaty fat <laughs> All right, I, 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 I think, I, I think, I think, I think, uh, me thinks you guys get the point here. <laughs> okay, but back, back, back to Rev. You know, he, he ain't racist at all. He's just a victim of circumstance. He should give the money from the house back to us because it's dirty money. Yeah, he should give us I that hundred and sixty grand. If they, if we are actual horrible fake Christian racists, he should give us that money back. I would, as a Christian, if I took money from a guy that I knew was like, say, I don't know, a, a, a P word, like uh, loving on, uh, uh, attracted to kids or something, I'd be so disgusted by that, I would give the money back. A racist wouldn't give the opposite race a house. Thank you. <laughs> See, but you have. Oh, oh, God. Dude, maybe that that's why you would give the house, you know? Shani said a bunch of stuff to him and. You know, and there, you know, there is a group out there, small group, but uh, nonetheless, a, a group which has an interesting theory that maybe this was Shani's idea the whole time. Give G-Man the place when she kicked Rev out when he eventually lost the money because it's pretty obvious he never knew how to handle that type of that amount of money in his life, especially after a pandemic. You know, G-Man already had the house. Win-win, you know what I mean? Kick Rev out and move in with G-Man. But uh, that didn't work out the way that Shani thought. But again, I'm not saying that that's her plan, but uh, it did kind of look like that, you know, coincidentally for a while. You have a brain, Gucci Trolls. See? You have a brain. You think about these things. The people that spout this shit, they don't think for themselves. They hear someone say it and go, yeah, that's right. They're racist, horrible people when they gave a black guy a house. <laughs> yeah, but you're thinking. Yeah, okay, okay. 
but you just saying it like that oh they give a black guy a <laughs> Like, Rev, you don't understand the way you sound, okay? Just, you know, the way you come off, you know? Try to, like, learn, I don't know. Try to learn, uh, you know, make your, what is it? Your, your, what, what does he always say? His, uh, his vocabulary better. His, his, I can't think of what that stupid, what he says. His lexic lexicon. Uh, get a better, bigger lexicon, bro. You're thinking, yeah, it is common sense, I know. But back to the subject, and I'll close it out. <clears throat> back to the subject matter at hand. Shani didn't start shit. Shani saw a guy, first of all, putting her in a picture, punching somebody. That's because that's what it's supposed to be. It's her avatar. So it's her punching someone. That was That's bad enough. But in the video... Only 160 grand. Well, that's so cheap compared to where I live. Well, yeah, this is this is bumblefuck. This is bumfuck Nipa. Okay. Is it's and he had a fix. It's it. cheaper living. I I mean I think that's a good thing, personally, Mike. So he puts her in a thing, punching someone, and in the video he calls Christian girls whores. Do you support that? Do you think that's okay? that he called Jules and Burnt Toast Whores. G-Man started this by being a disgusting asshole. I love that because, uh, you know, Rev is obviously a big old hypocrite. He's told uh, those people and others uh, a lot worse. And there is so much video proof out there. I don't even need to think I need to show you guys, but uh, there is a lot of proof out there. You know, uh, Rev can be very disgusting when he wants to be. Do I think he's trying to be disgusting or shocking? I think on the more shocking side, because, you know, he's only been with Shani. You know, he's he's very, very childish. He's, he's mentally a child. You know what I mean? Calling Christian girls whores. There's your answers. Shani didn't start shit. He started this with his childish bullshit that Chiani has been literally calling him out for forever. Ever since she's known the guy, he's had these issues with people and acting like a complete fucking idiot. He's got mental problems, folks. He has untreated mm -hmm. mental illness. Mainly, I'd say, uh, narcissistic personality disorder. He is extremely toxic narcissist. That's what he is. Nope, he's not very Christian. IMO. Yeah, you're right. He's not. He's not. Why are they on pause? Is there a problem? Who's on pause? I'm pretty sure I'm not on pause. Anyway, I'm done. Hey, I survived scary. I wanted you guys to know this that, yeah, Shani didn't start shit. If you're going looking for truth, if you want to go to that guy for entertainment to see like a stupid guy just acting like a, I don't know, WWE star that never got a contract, watch him. <laughs> Go for it if if you want to, but if you're going for truth, forget it. You're getting twisted bullshit, complete bullshit. Glad to see you're doing good. Was hoping to see you live. Hey, it's good, always great to be in the chat with you, Gucci trolls, because you're extremely you you think for yourself. You got good. The only reason he's saying that is because Gucci trolls gives him money all the time. She's one of these people, and uh, like again, okay, I can't force anyone not to. I, I I try, and many others have tried to call out Shani and Rev's uh, hypocrisy and bullcrap, and they're oh, we need money, like you know, we're on, we're down to our last dollar. Um, if she really is that sick, uh, Gucci trolls, they could just use their their state medical. There, there's a van that could pick them up for free. Uh, you know, uh, smoking or eating Delta Eight gummies uh, all day every day is not a good, uh, a good uh, pain relief or pain management. You know, substitute, especially when we don't even know what is in there. So if you actually care about them, you're probably poisoning them with that stuff that's not even FDA approved. Just saying, if she really needs marijuana that bad, she should get under. She should get a medical card stuff to say you're pleasant all that good stuff so god bless everybody jesus bless all of you don't if you have to listen to g-man just do it for entertainment if you're in, entertained by it i understand you want to watch him go for it okay but if you want the truth we'll <laughs> tell you the truth of what actually happened that's it peace out sure but when he when he says you know god bless and all that that means uh 
<laughs> in case anybody didn't know. Okay, let's uh let's do another one and then oh yeah, I'll check check out the whole thing with uh with Cyrax. Cause you know Cyrax, he's so he's always doing some dumb shit. <laughs> God, these people. Okay, oh yeah. This one about G Man stock and again like I jokes really about you. He's constantly I really need to ask uh G Man about it. Because I'm curious, like I'm curious where all this is coming from, you know what I mean? But guys, thank you for hanging out. Please uh like the stream. Oh, whoops. So So, ha ha. A new chapter in bullshit of <laughs> internet psychopaths that I wish I didn't have to like realize that I've known in my life. I wish I could just memory hole certain people that I've met on the internet, but they're making that extremely hard to do when they continue to contact me and my wife when we have requested on, I don't know how many occasions. Oh, thank you uh, very much. Uh, I'll see you, member for my nine months, hardcore. You said, love you to you and Renee and the kiddos and the child. Well, you know, thank you as well, Mousy, because you are part of the Incorporated, as you know. And I do appreciate you and keeping down, holding down the fort when I'm uh, busy at work and stuff. And I love to the mods who help me mod the chat and always the last minute. Yes, yes, I know. I know, I really need to be more uh, consistent. It's just, well, I think once Christmas is out, <laughs> it'll be a lot easier. It's just like, you know, Christmas, New Year's, uh, Thanksgiving. It's like whammy, d double, triple whammy, you know? But uh, thank you, I, I, I appreciate it. Now, to have no contact with this individual. So I'm going to say this clearly for everybody. There's nine people in here right now. And for everybody else that hears this after, hi, Stacey. Um, again, the man on YouTube known as G-Man has absolutely no – we, we have no want to hear from you in email, in text, in voice messages. I have blocked you everywhere, G-Man. And, and, and you say we dox you when we call you your name. Everybody knows your name. That's not doxing. Again. I'm not going to use your name anymore, though, just to respect that bullshit. You know it's bullshit. You told everybody your name, I don't know, within the first couple of weeks you were on YouTube or something. Like, the atheist made such horribly, uh, you know, jokes about you. He's constantly saying that we're doxing him when he's told us his name, like, years ago. I do not want text from you. I do not want emails from you. I do not want voice messages from you. For some reason, I blocked your number on my thing, and you can still leave me messages. That's really weird. I don't understand what the fuck that is. If you block somebody, they shouldn't be able to leave you a voice message. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that at this point, Shani and I are going to get an order of protection against him because he won't stop. And this is another video that's evidence that this guy is harassing us. Actually, cyber stalking and showing up at our house randomly, that's stalking. Well, that was, what, like a little over a month ago? And listen, Rev, yeah, probably... Uh, I'll agree with you on that. You know, let's, you know, fair is fair, right, folks? People shouldn't be showing up if, um, you know, you don't even know that they're going to show up that day. Fine, I'll, I'll give you that. But this guy did take care of you for a while. Now, when people say, oh, he knew about the abuse, I don't know about that because it seemed like to me, and I've asked him myself, he didn't really know much anything uh, before he actually... You guys moved from Colorado up to PA where he can actually be closer to you to actually be in smell of you and see that you guys really weren't taking care of the situation, me and the kids and the house and hygiene and all that. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get back to the video. Period. End of story. 100%. So all of you guys in here are witnesses to it. And I'm telling you that this is unwanted, G-Man. We do not want to hear a sneeze from you. We want to hear absolutely nothing from you. Yeah, it's all right, Crab Ragoon. It's no big deal. I just want to come on here and have everybody aware that this is going on. No, he didn't show up again, thankfully. Yes. Just there to watch. Uh, yeah, yet. I got a feeling, though. He left me a long Skype. He left me like three Skype messages saying, you and Shani are definitely racist, and thank God for Carrie because she's exposing your racism. He is completely delusional, psychotic. And, and, and he continues to contact us when we have said on, I don't know how many occasions now we've told him, we want absolutely no contact with you. No, restraining order won't work, Bradley. Because I tried that with Dragnaut in, in Colorado. And um, you have to have, like, direct contact for a restraining order. That won't work. 
you need to get an order of protection. If I got an order of protection in Colorado, I probably had one, would have had one against Dragnaut too. Um, but yeah, order of protection. I'm pretty sure that we're going to do that because this guy, he doesn't know when to stop. And I think that's why he got put away for four years in a mental institution. That's right. G-Man was put away for four years in a mental institution. If you treat people like this, that's going to happen because obviously you have some sort of emotional attachment to people that you really shouldn't. So G-Man is exactly like the people he likes to speak against. He's no different. And I believe that he is a textbook. Yeah, he sounds like a stalker. That's right, Bradley. He is being a stalker. You're right. You're 100% correct. Okay, that's why this is serious. And that's why I'm making a video again. Shani suggested it. And I'm like, you know what? That's 100% right. I want all you guys to know if something happened to us, it's probably him. Okay, because he's off his rocker right now. He has no, I don't think he has any allies at this point. None. And he feels like he's out there turning alone and whatever. And he's just going off on us because the two people. Now, I, I want to put this in perspective. I said this a million times to Shani. Okay. All right. Um, actually, I just uh, I just uh, recently talked to G, man. And uh, and uh, I just asked him, you know, that money, like, did he actually offer more money again? Because I don't know why Rev always brings up old news. But apparently this is from when he first went there, which was not when it was so cold out, when it was... Uh, I think uh, what, almost in the summertime. So uh, that's, you know, Shani had him bring it up. And he just wanted to give Rev money to get him away from her. Kind of what I was saying before. So I just wanted to throw that out there. But I want to say to you, what kind of person, when they're homeless, no job, he lost his job, he was literally on the street. There were two people, two people, well, let's say three. There was David Weiser, that helped him out with an apartment for a while, and that ended. And then he was out on his ass again. No, nothing. Two people, me and Shani, give him a house, literally. We just give it to him. I don't care if we were spewing the worst stuff you could imagine. You would at least treat those two people with a modicum of respect because they provided something for you when you were literally on the street maybe going to die. I want that to sink in. This is how this guy is treating two people that literally gave him a roof over his head. And then he sells it and gets $159,000 in his bank account. Man, he's jelly okay? about that. <laughs> who's in the right? Who's in the wrong here? You tell me. Who's being a stalker, Corey? It's, uh, it's G-Man. I ain't going to say his name anymore because he bitches and whines about it. It's a guy on YouTube called G-Man, a.k.a. Sowing and Reaping Channel, which was supposed to be about Jesus, and it's just a drama channel to slander us now. That's it. You guys are up to date. I'm done. Uh, I just... <clears throat> You didn't give it to him? Are you kidding me, you fucking idiot? It was my house. Yeah, you're blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kink. You're, you're going to try and end right. You're done. There's no way. No, he doesn't owe us anything, crab, Rangoon. He doesn't owe us shit. It was given to him. And we are Christians. Shani and I are Christians. Oh, give me okay? a break. We took it back from him. He lied about money, okay? He lied about a cell phone bill. We paid it. And then he was asking for money on the online sure. to get a cell phone bill paid. And it was already paid. He lied about money. We took the house back from him at that point. But upon really praying on it and Jesus going, wait a minute, we that went neck. through with it and we <laughs> signed the house over to him. Do I regret that now? Yeah, because I think he's a fake. I don't believe he's a, a genuine Christian. I believe that this man uses Christianity as a shield and a facade. And actually what he is is a toxic narcissist, bottom line. With, me, with sociopathic, psychopathic tendencies, and that's why he was in an institution for four years. He should probably what? be on a litany of medications that he's not on because I got Jesus. I don't need no medication. I, I never heard that before. Yep. No, it's all right, Crab Ragu. You're just asking. That's fine. No problem at all. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to tell you the truth about what's actually going on. Now, Carrie would take this and she'll pause things or whatever in the middle and go, this isn't really what happened. He didn't give a house to anybody. This Where do you think G-Man got the house then? Did he have enough money to buy the house from me? No, he didn't. Hey, Rev, haven't seen you and Shani in forever. Hope you remember me. Peggy Shirar. I'm looking at your profile picture. Peggy. I think I recall a name Peggy, yes. Um, but we see a lot of people that come through here. Anyway, well, God bless you, Peggy. Anyway, I'm done. I wanted you guys to know what's going on. Um, pray for the guy to have his mind healed, I guess. Pray for him to actually become a real believer because yeah. at this point, yeah. what I see is a guy that's just a narcissist. And he gets his, himself involved in people's lives, and then he likes to manipulate the individuals in their lives with his little games. He has these games. Like, he came to this porch saying, I want to talk to him. I want to talk to him. And then we were talking, and it's like, 
He brought Shani into it too. He was talking about Shani. It's, it is all about manipulating you into, he's the hero. He's the, he's, he, it's like, he wants himself to be God. He wants to put himself in the place of God. He is not representing Jesus Christ. I don't, <laughs> see, personally, I am not, I don't agree with that. I don't think he wants to uh, be a uh, God. <laughs> I think he's just trying to be a Christian, and um, I, I don't know. Like I said, this was not recently, but hopefully I can get a G Man to say it in, in his own words. Because, like I said, I like when people say things in their, in their own words. I don't like to speculate or uh, paraphrase them. So, uh, but yeah, let's finish up with uh, Riff Raff Rub here. Oh. He wants to make himself God, and that's a narcissist. And you mark and avoid those people in your life because they will cause you nothing but harm. <laughs> And, and and mental illness, get and, them on and, your and, life. God bless you all. Pray for us. Pray for him to get right with his mind. Because if he gets right with his mind, we'll be getting an apology at this point. This guy's absolutely insane. Peace out. Jesus bless you all. Rev, 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 Rev. Seriously, for real. What are you trying to, um, like, accomplish? Oh. I get the next video up. All right, so you know what? Uh, if he might be coming on, I'm gonna play that Cyrex video, and then I'm gonna go back to uh, uh, Rev and Shani. But uh, like seriously, what are you uh, trying to accomplish here, Rev? I think it's silly. I think it's silly that like, well, Rev, it's not Rev, you know, it's Shani. Oh my God, I think he's already here. Uh, I guess I heard the beep. One second. Uh, there you go. Hello. Hey, what's up, Draven? Is that a G man? Do you guys hear this fool? <laughs> you do. Do you hear this fool? <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking playing. <laughs> I hope you are. Nah, uh, dude. You know what it is? Because like, I I don't understand why some people like. Like you told me several times, and I was playing, but you've told me several, several, several times that you really never got to meet them in person, right? Like be around in their presence until um, they moved from Colorado, right? Right. And um, again, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, I want to paraphrase. I don't want to put words into your mouth. You didn't really know how bad things were because at the time, the people that were giving you the information about them were the people that was not really on your side, right? Yeah, the majority of the people that was warning me about them and telling me about them were also coming after me. And the way my personality is, if you do that, I'm not paying you no mind. Yeah, yeah. So, really... When did you actually feel like, okay, this is a little bit different than what I thought? Being was around them, <laughs> being around them, being around them and, and, and their habits and their mannerisms. And the thing that I really started opening my eyes, and I know this sounds like a broken record, was when uh, Rev decided, you know, that, that he wasn't going to take a job. You know what I mean? Uh, and I found him. I, I, I found him two of them. He didn't want either one of them. So... First one was to be a, um, he was supposed to be a painter, I think. And the other one, he was supposed to be like a helper or something like that. And he didn't want to do it because the dude doesn't want to work. And like we, like you've told me before, you know, you, you helped them out. Um, let's see. I mean, if you would put kind of half ass put together, like when they were still in Colorado, you were kind of paying a little bit of the, of the bills. And then, um, you helped them for what was it a year straight in that motel right and then in that hotel no 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 it wasn't for no year no. uh the hotel was for about uh we'll say about four maybe five weeks or something like that i think it was but most of the time i was helping them they was inside the house that's right but you were paying for those bills as well mm -hmm. so they wasn't doing anything and she any lies and says that she wasn't getting no income she was she was getting ad revenue from uh from when she was on uh what was that twitch or something like that i think yeah she was getting ad revenue from that so when um when you were doing that did you feel like you had an end goal meaning like all right i'm gonna i'm gonna fix this house up 
you know, because I know you've stated and shown the disrepair at the house, the back taxes and everything. And you figured everything and you got the house next to nothing, everything you put in plus paying for their, their way and for food and for clothes and everything, put all that together. You still had a profit. You weren't upside down at the end of all. Oh, of course I had a profit. Um, they, um, the thing with me with them, it was when they first came there, when uncle kicked them out, I forget the months, but I know around things after Thanksgiving, they were supposed to move out because they was claiming that they was going to go fill out their paperwork mm -hmm. uh, in downtown Scranton and they was going to um, get get a social security and then they was going to go get uh, TRA and all that other stuff. But they never went down there. They made excuses and, and the car was working fine. It was giving money for gas on multiple occasions. You know what I mean? They never went down there. So I told them they had to get out. I think uh, when they first moved in there, right? Um, at the Thanksgiving, but then uh, they were saying that they needed more time, that they couldn't contact CPS, and I believed all of that nonsense. And then uh, that little bit of time turned into about another year. So, um, uh, hey, Jeep, uh, if it's okay, Charlie, my uh, my my good buddy, uh, she wants to know when was the last time that you had to pay the uh, uh, the taxes before you, you know, uh, I guess what released relinquish the house to the new owner i know you know uh you told me stuff and i'm not gonna get into uh you know that stuff but uh when you had to pay the taxes last i don't remember um they was in there when i was paying the taxes and when they got out i was still paying taxes no no i mean before uh i think she means before you know before you sold it to the new owner or owners no, that's not going to be done until um, the end of the year. Oh, really? Yeah. So you have to, you actually have to wait um, until where, I, where everybody files. See, I didn't know. I yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Something like that. That's the end of the year, so I, I'm I'm prepared for that. So I'm not not worried about it. Now, and again, when you got the house, when you first first with the what, what, uh, 2020, I want to say early or 2019. Or 2020 around? It sounds right. Right? Pretty much 2020? I don't remember the date I actually got it the first time. Uh, let me see. Um, her and Chris broke up. Da, 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 da. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. It might have been 2019 or 2018. or late, late 2018 or 2019, I think I got it, I think. For the first time, I think. Yeah, so Von Beard was asking, what kind of what bills were you paying? So, Von, um, I well, we'll start with basically you got the house right, and whether it's because they were being racist towards you, and we've seen the videos, I played something. Whether it was because maybe Shani had in the back of her head, hey, if a uh, Rev spends all his money, this guy's gonna be close, and I could just move in with G Man and make that work, even though that's not what you wanted, obviously. No matter what it was, um, yeah, yeah, you got the house for next to nothing, and right away you noticed disrepair, right? Um, you know, stuff needed. Yeah, they to told me that it was in disrepair when I first moved there. And then um, after that, it was just a basically what going around and seeing what can be fixed with with you or what could be fixed with a crew. Talking about you talking about when I first went there the very first time. Yeah, once you started to like kind of get the materials together and get count in your head, like what you're going to need to actually make this. No, a lot of that stuff was done on credit. I I had a lot of my guys come over there, and they um and they was working. And the understanding was that once the paperwork was was done, mm -hmm. I was going to pay everybody when 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 I started working and whatnot. Because I have some friends uh, that are construction workers that that will do me favors like that. They'll work for nothing until uh you know, uh, and then I owe them a favor or something work. like that. I got you. So I was in debt the first time, and I never really got around to, to paying those guys back until I actually moved out of there. Now, when I was actually doing better when I moved out of there than I was when I was in there. Yeah, because you know the back taxes and some of the, uh, you know, you were still paying for what the electric. I paid a dollar for that place, but the back taxes and the repairs and everything, please. But <laughs> you were paying everything, right? The electric, the water, the sewer. You're talking about the first time or the second time? Um, I guess the first time. time. The, the first time, Shani was paying. Um, Shani and Red was paying the electric, but I was only there for for about 
what uh 60 days i think i was and these two so-called millionaires couldn't even afford uh, an electric bill so okay so to backtrack uh because i didn't know this, yeah. this is... and why are you asking me all these questions about the first time me being in it out of curiosity oh because i didn't because i, I want to just get everything straight I, I i know i i know when i saw that video uh when shani was yelling at you over the cell phone she was getting all mad at you over that and i know that... she was getting mad at me because she's controlling and she wanted to yeah. talk to me all the time and it was getting kind of annoying a lot of times i wouldn't even pick up the phone when she called and i think i remember you telling me something about uh, i mean you've been dealing with me for a while i don't even pick up the phone all the time when you call me yeah so you get, you get busy yeah yeah, no, I yeah. get you. I hear you, man. Um, so when when uh when you actually had to go back there, whether because you needed to live there or whatever, that's when you decided, hey, maybe you need to get some sort of law thing involved. So she can't. The second time I did that, yeah, I I was stupid the first time. The second time I wouldn't even I wouldn't even breathe on the topic until I saw some paperwork. Mm -hmm. I kept telling them, don't don't don't. You ain't giving me nothing until I see some paperwork. So if I ain't seen no paperwork, I wasn't going back there. And that's when I got a lawyer and everybody in balls. Yeah, because right or wrong, she was she was throwing. I mean, like, I, I and it wasn't she. This time it was he. The second time it was he. Okay. I only dealt with him. Oh, with Rev. Okay, got gotcha, you. Gotcha. Yeah, the second time I made sure I only dealt with the person whose name was on the deed. Yeah, well, this way, if anyone ever sees my video and they're curious about how this all went down, I see that Rev is trying to change the narrative again. I just want to make sure that you know. You know about that last video he made? Yeah, I just want. Or make did sure he make a new one? Uh, no, that one he made on Friday. So I just want to make sure that the truth is out there that you guys had a clear understanding that this was your place. And then you made sure that he couldn't, or Shani, they couldn't hold it over your head if you didn't do exactly what they said when they said, or pick up the phone when they need you to pick up the phone. Like, you know, get the hell out of the house, bull crap. And I don't know how, you know, but I guess it's hard when you really need a place to live. But like, you know... I, I wouldn't want to live like that. So I don't blame you for, you know, getting a lawyer and just having something written down and something that they had to follow and they couldn't just kick you out, especially if you were um, keeping materials, building materials and, and, you know, all that other stuff uh, at the house. So uh, uh, Vaughn asked, did uh, Shani did, when did she first, uh, if it's okay with me asking, when did she first actively try to seduce you? Actively try to seduce me? Yeah, you know. Actively? <laughs> you know uh, right. I would say when Rev was in jail. Uh, he flirted with me right in front of him several times. Like, like Rev is oblivious to a lot of things. Uh, she would give me things and do it very, in a very flirtatious, uh, in a very flirtatious, flir flirtatious way. Um, and when Rev got locked up, her kids was calling me daddy. They were saying <laughs> that they didn't want him to come back. They didn't want me to let him come back in there. And she and he said she needed a real man to stick out that to stay at the house with her. And I went downstairs. I believe I made a video that day and I got out of Dodge. Okay. So. Um well hey, to piggyback off of that, uh when, you know, um, I'm curious, when the kids did actually say, Hey, uh, G Man, we don't want him to come back, did they they didn't really spell it out, right? They just said they felt No, no. Shani with Shani obviously programmed them to uh, programmed them to say those things. Yeah. I, I figured that one out. Um but uh I mean I, I believe Rev just got finished kicking one of them. Yeah. So yes. and then they were saying that he was that way like in uh Colorado as well. But the funny thing is is when uh Rev got out of um uh, when Rev got out of jail and I got mm -hmm. to talk to him a little bit, he told me that Shani was doing similar things over there in Colorado. Now, here's the thing. Yeah. She, yeah. I, I, there's no video proof. There's none of that stuff for me to go on. It's just his word. And these two lie a lot. So. Yeah. Okay. And that was my next thing. So it's like they were saying stuff, but at the time you felt like, am I being, you know, sympathy on your, on your heartstrings? Hey, oh, you know, stay here. We're afraid. You didn't know what was true. You know, you know, I know what she was trying to do. She was trying to get me to stay there to sleep with her, and that just wasn't going to happen. Like I said, that smell didn't just magically go away. That just wasn't <laughs> going to happen. But so, did, you, did you feel, though, at the time that if some of those uh, allegations that were coming out, the new ones, I mean, because I think what well, it was like, bam, bam, bam. You know, you hear about the allegations. Next thing, CPS is there. Next thing, they're speaking to the kids. And then the kids... Because, you know, something like that one bad... 
Oh, oh Dragnut used to uh Dragnut yeah. used to make videos talking about how Shani and um how Shani and Rev didn't want to work. Mm -hmm. And he he and I think a couple of other people on there was uh constantly uh talking about like um how you know uh if you if you shove the job down his throat like he wouldn't want to work or whatever and i didn't believe that because i believe that if he got the opportunity he would do something mm -hmm. and then when um i uh found him something where he can actually make some money uh so he can get his behind out the house and everything and whatnot he didn't want to do it and it wasn't just once or it, it was twice and then the contractor told me to throw them out because he was saying that because oh, he wow. started telling me the contractor told me that they was attempting to um to play me because he kept saying that he wants to work, he wants to work. And then Rev would say things like, I don't get up at six or seven in the morning. I don't do this and I don't do that. You know what I mean? And the reality is he does get up that early. Yeah. You know what I mean? To, to play video there. games and the <laughs> and to look at foodie beauty and all that garbage. <laughs> well, Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So but uh do you feel like between everything coming out at once like you know all these allegations happening at once with the, the shanny trying to get you to get there stay there so she, so you know because i ultimately i think she wanted someone to take care of her and then on top of that you know the the pandemic the height of the pandemic is happening and you know what like i, I try not to use this as an excuse but i feel like the pandemic made a lot of us nuts I know me, uh, definitely for sure. You know, I made some mistakes yeah. there. Cause she, felt like she only wanted different. me, you know, she only wanted me because she knew I could buy that Delta eight whenever I wanted, it. And hmm. she knew that, um, that, that Rev ain't had nothing else to take to the, uh, what do you call that? To the pawn shop or whatever. So, hmm. um, uh, Rev was completely, uh, uh, exhausted. But the thing is, if you look at it from my perspective at that time, oh I, I don't have that house. Jesus. If it wasn't for Rev, don't go die. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I don't have that house uh, uh, if if it's not for Rev. So hmm. nothing she was gonna say to me at that time was going to make me uh, make him not be there. But when he kicked uh, Zachary in the head, though, mm -hmm. I'm sure Shani will talk about this in the next video. When he kicked uh, Zachary in the head, I did tell her I don't want him back there. But she had to move them cars too because he had a Durango and he had that that Cadillac there. And I told him that that, that if he if, if he can't come up here, like I'm not stupid, take the cars and get them and get them out the driveway. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's gonna have to get up and start doing things for herself. And I don't think she liked that too tough. Cause yeah. I wasn't gonna be there. I had to work. And like, you know, I'm gonna paraphrase here, but and money don't grow on trees. Oh, exactly. And uh, uh I'm gonna paraphrase here, but I'm sure Carrie would agree with me when I say when when she found out that day. That Rev was still there outside, and she was talking about having sex with him, and the kids were scared. Harry told me that day, and we made a stream and told everybody. She didn't even have a stream uh, or a channel yet, but she wanted to get that word out because I feel like with a lot of people that were talking to Shani, they there was no concrete proof of ev or evidence of anything. There was speculation. But a lot of people lie around here. There was some police reports, but then she would say, well, you know, she would always have an excuse. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I, it wasn't until like those guys actually went to their place and they saw how dirty they lived and everything. And But I told everybody about how they lived when they kicked me out the first time. Like I was, uh, if you could find those videos, Sabella probably has them. But uh, uh, I was so angry the first time when they kicked me out of there. I had her drawers and I was showing everybody her drawers, her bras. I was showing everybody her boxers and all that and how it wasn't clean and how it was dirty. I was showing people visual tours of how dirty the house was and everything and whatnot. All right, well, like I when I was there the first time, yeah. I got a question for you from uh from uh from my uh gal Charlie uh girl. Uh she asks, uh, you know, do you like women in the uh the larger uh, variety? I don't gotta see here's the thing with me. I don't particularly care about the uh Guys. the the physical aspect. I care about like their attitude and like their um smell. Their uh you know, whether or not they know Christ or whatever or or whether or not there's, there's a compatibility there. My problem is is that um well, actually not not my problem. Shani's problem has always been that her mouth has been disgusting. She treats herself like she's like she's worth three cents, you know what I mean, by doing the porn that she did with Rev. She wants to be everybody, and 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 ugh, no, it's, it, there's a lot of things wrong with Shani, and I mean a lot.
Yeah, can that's I, a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, but I don't know how, I, I'm not knocking women that are big. I'm just saying that um that in her case, she she she's just disgusting, you know. Yeah. Uh and like I was saying to people before, you know, she has no self respect. She has no self love. She doesn't have any of that. And more importantly than that, she's lying. She lies all the time. She can't work. She can't walk. She can't do this. She can't do that. She's a liar. Um, I was explaining to people before before you came in, like I could talk to you. I could basically talk to anybody, um, you know, that I want because it's you know my right to do so. But that doesn't mean anything like we kind of talked about before that doesn't mean you and me agree on everything we've ever said well, of course we disagree everything. on some things yeah we yeah. do we definitely disagree on some things and uh but that's okay. for example you're a roman catholic and i'm not and most of youtube <laughs> knows how i feel about that so including you so <laughs> yeah you, you and so. we were talking about uh what was it uh uh uh, cre uh create uh oh ancient astronaut theory you you didn't <laughs> You're right. Don't get me started. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, man. Anyway. Um. So, did you believe her though when she started? Oh, praise Jesus and everything. You being a Christian and knowing. Oh, I believe that she. In the beginning, I believed that she was a Christian when I first met her. You had no. Yeah, me, Veco, and other people on there had our reservations after we heard her cussing. Like, like, okay, like she was saying that she was a that, that she was a fundamentalist and she believed this and this is about the Bible and everything. But when we would go to her and talk to her about every other word coming out of her mouth being a cuss word, she would actually try a little bit to stop. You know what I mean? And then she'll go back to doing it again, and then she would do little little things that would you know that would make you question whether or not her claim was true. And myself, and, and like I said, the people at the Great Debate Days at them days used to like, you know, eh, we're not going to fellowship. We're going to kind of like uh, keep our distance a little bit because, you know, she's doing a lot of things that's a major no-no. Because oh. you can't tell atheists and the people that we were debating back then that God is holy and he doesn't like this, this, and this. And then having her say, well, uh, you know, uh, that's not necessarily true. Uh, you can talk like this and say, nah, nah. Okay. Um, uh, the, uh, there's a person here. Her name is Melly Germany. Um, sometimes we agree, sometimes we disagree. Uh, she says here, even if Melly who? Melly uh, Germany. I think I've seen her. I know Germany. who that is. Okay. Yeah, I know who that is. Well, yeah. she said, even if she fell out with a friend, I wish she would never reveal such intimate details just to get back at them. Now, before you answer that, do you feel like it's not that you're revealing their intimate details? It's that. You feel like the way they came at you when all you did for them, shading and red by me, and all the BS you got for being their friend, and all you really said was, Shanny, I need. I don't know you. how long Melly Germany has been following Shanny, but yes. Shanny is the undisputed champion of putting people's intimate information on yes. YouTube when she gets it. She's a dot dropping machine when she's ready to be one. You know what I mean? Um, I was friends with them. I was extremely hurt when I came to the revelation that she was using me when she tried to lie to everybody on social media and try to tell them I gave well, whether people was going to believe her or not. She still got on here and she lied and said that I gave her a death sentence. You know what I mean? That, 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 that she was going to die. You know what I mean? And she tried and she had the nerve to try to do that manipulative garbage to me online. And she knows I told her over and over and over again. I said, look, you got a problem with me talking to me in private. You talk to me in public, I'm gonna come at you. Like and I'm and I'm not gonna be nice about it. And she and she sat there talking about some blood clots, talking about some um how she knows she was gonna die, how her Bye, kids bro. was put into my care and I was being tested and all what? those other nonsense and whatnot, and then had the nerve to tell me that she wasn't gonna apologize. Yeah, I was hurt and I was very upset by that. So I gave her a serious taste of her own medicine. Now when um and like I said, if anything you ever want to talk, don't want to answer, that's fine. Uh, when uh, when Shandy would start, and Enrev started coming at you with, you know, uh, racist remarks, like, what did you feel at first? Did you feel like they had that in them to do? I was I surprised when I was living inside the house, and yeah. um, I'm talking about the first time, and she came out with that statement, because this is before she called me the N-word. Mm -hmm. She uh, said, especially when you're dealing with two rich white people versus one poor black man. <laughs> and then after that, she felt the guts to go out there and call me the N-word. Wow. And the whole time I'm saying to myself, yeah, I was hurt. But I, I swore that when I got out this, that when I finally got out that place, 
and I got my own place, I was going to come after her, and that's exactly what I did. Did she ever, like... I was very hurt when that happened. Did she ever express, like, any hints before that that's who she was like you know when you know when she doesn't before like she her. met rev she's i've never heard her make a racial a racial slur one time before oh. she got involved with rev i've never ever heard her use a racial slur one time before she got involved with rev and rev and and, and she better not try to say that rev is the one who got her into it because rev had wet brain at the time and she was making all of the decisions and everything so I don't even want to hear that shit. Any of you're watching this, don't even try to blame Rev. That was you, and we all know it was you, because I know they're watching. Uh, uh, hey, how do you you? What do you think of Baxter? Like, what, what? I mean, I know you have a different opinion on different uh, religions. Have you only been a uh, Christian all your life, by the way? Who me? Know. Yeah, you. Well. I've been a Christian since I was um, about 25. And before that, uh, I probably would be closer to like um, I wasn't an atheist, but I but I mean I was I was a theist. I was not an atheist. Yeah, I was probably closer to the thinking of like um, with the morality and everything, closer to the, a lot of the people on the internet that are not saved. They, like they, I like like I I agree with a lot of the same fundamental stuff that a lot of the people that watch you believed as far <laughs> they, as morality went. They think you're chewing gum. I don't know. Maybe I should do a poll to see who thinks you're chewing I'm gum. I'm not chewing gum. I'm um, <laughs> eating Swedish. I'm eating Swedish fish. Oh, oh Gummy fish. Jenny would love some of that. <laughs> mm. Sucks to be poor. Okay, so... No, it don't suck to be poor. Being poor actually has a lot of benefits. I actually prefer uh, being poor over um, being rich. I don't like rich people. I don't know if you know that about me or not. I really don't like rich people. They don't know how to talk to people who don't got anything. I mean, you know? Jimin, did the time that Rev actually went and... Because he had he owned the house, not Shanny. When he went with the lawyer and filled out this paperwork, could he, could he at the time have paid for some workers and got the house fixed up himself and made some money off of it? Yes. Him? Yes. Did you ever say that to him? Like, dude, why aren't you doing that? Yep. And how did he get set up with both houses? I mean, he had the house that he gave you, and then the house that he's in right now with Shani, right? The uncles? He gave the one, he gave that house to the uncle before he uh, got involved with Shani, I think. I, I think because Red doesn't know how to pay taxes. You know what I mean? He seems like he would get uh, in trouble for that. And I don't know. I, I, I couldn't believe that he was, uh, you know, living in PA, uh, especially what, in the 2012, 2011, uh, with all those weapons in the house. And, like, you see how nuts he is. And then what does he say? Oh, I didn't know you can't have a, a, a bunch of rifles if you're on... Uh, Medication, ha oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Shani um, greatly influences his decision making. Like all of that money that they were giving away to the poor, that wasn't coming. That that wasn't coming from the bottom of Rev's heart. That was coming from Shani and her. If you actually listen to Shani's mother, and she 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 talked about how a, a homeless person came into her house with Shani or whatever, right? And I think she's got some videos talking about it too. Everything Rev was doing in Colorado was consistent with who and what Shani is. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. I, I was sorry. I was just reading, uh, just reading the chat. Um, you know, so do you feel? Because, like I said, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to understand. You know, I'm trying to understand. I know. When this feels I like an interview. <laughs> I, I know it's always like an interview because people are always uh have these misconceptions these ideas you know don't talk to g-man because otherwise you agree with everything g-man says don't uh you know he that sounds out. like the dork room saying that <laughs> i mean do, but do you really feel though in your heart like okay you made a mistake you understand that uh you know 
they did help you out, so you felt like you had to help them out. You know what? And you're not the first person I ever heard say that. Like, okay, you helped me when at a, at a time I needed it. Now here's your time, but it seems like their time was a lot more extended than the time that Shani, you know. Oh, it was. I was only there for about two, two and a half months when I was there. And Shani didn't like the videos. Out. Listen to me. I didn't get kicked out over no phone bill. Rev can say that to he's blue in the face. That's why I want him to come to my channel. I got kicked out because Shani didn't like the content I was making on my channel. And I ain't pick up the phone all the time. That's why she kicked me out of there. So... Uh, do you, what is with these videos that he made? On well, Friday? that and also the rumor that was being uh, spread around at that time too. Anyway, go ahead. Oh, hey, on what's up, dude? Uh, what, so what is the uh, what is with the Friday? Um, what is with the Friday? Uh, what do you call it? Video? Why is he saying that you guys are stalking and he, and they're gonna, they're gonna do a lawsuit and they're gonna bring you to court? How are you stalking them? Are you talking about uh, the video I made this past weekend? No, the video that the video that he made on Friday, that Rev made on Friday. I'm wondering like, on Friday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's um, up with that? I contacted them on. Uh, no, I called their phone. That's what it was. I left them a a, a long message over there on uh, Skype, but we was having a dialogue on Skype. But I, but apparently he blocked me on everything without telling me, without letting me know, and I had. Uh, I, I called this phone the first time I didn't pick up. I called the phone the second time he, he didn't pick up. The third time I called, uh, I got I decided to leave an answer, an answering uh, a voice message or whatever. And I had said some things to him, and I guess they got it. Apparently, blocked people can do that. Yeah, uh, which proves I wasn't blocked. Uh, you know, and then they got on there and decided to say that I was stalking them and everything. And I'm almost a million percent sure Shani is the one saying that, and I'm a billion percent sure. That she was the one who told him to go up to, to go live and make that video. Uh, yeah. By the way, um, yeah, this is uh, this is live. Uh, it was. And the reason why I don't worry about those two accusing me of stalking, showing up unannounced, or anything like that, is because neither one of them knows what they're talking about. Um. Okay, G man. I want. Uh, Omni does have a <laughs> has um has a question. And Omni? You mean Omni presents? Presence presents. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, and this one. Harry the Omni. I, I guess you could say that. I mean, maybe. Oh, okay. Because uh, yeah, because this, this is the Omni something. from the uh, geek room. Then no. Oh no! Oh no no, no! 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 When did the whole like you know you you might be you know sweet on Jason start? Like when did when what? did that? You know, like you're more into Jason or you know Rev than you are into Shani. Like, when did that whole? Like, I don't know who started that. Cause none of that's true. I know, I know, but I'm asking you, like, and I'm not into that kind of thing. So, um, like, uh, whoever started it was probably broke nut. But uh, no, <laughs> I I don't have nothing to do with that. People are free to believe whatever they want. Yeah, yeah, I, I was just wondering, like, when people started to. to but when it's time, to, but here's the thing, though. The, the, here's the the bet, the flip side of it. People are free to believe what they want until it's time to have that conversation. Then I don't want nobody getting on my getting on my case when I start giving out those strong opinions. You know what I mean? Because they, they 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 joke around and they say, "Gee, man, you know, you like you like rev, you like rev, you like rev." Ha ha he he ha ha. Okay, you got your laugh off and everything and whatnot. But when it's time to have those debate conversation about this, remember, you're the one who started the joking. You know. Well, you know, me personally, I would think that whoever you would have been with, laid down with. A five, woman, a female, <laughs> the opposite sex, okay. definitely. But they yeah. would have to be hygienic, right? Oh, I yeah. See. They got to know what soap and water is. They got to know what um, perfume is. And you like, know what I mean? Jenny and Rev, what, stunk most of the time, uh, half the time? Every time I went there, they smelled like they didn't bathe. You talking about during the days of the house? I was only around them one time, and they smelled like they bathed. Only one time, and that was when um I went over there to the um uh to 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 visit them over there in uh wherever that town is that they're in. Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, why I uh, I uh, what this Friday uh rev out of nowhere unless he's taking uh you know. Did you watch the whole video? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's obvious why he made the video. He made the video because he wants me to go to the bank and take all the money out of it and give it to him. That's why. <laughs> Reb's a bloody idiot. That's what he is. He's an idiot. Did you tell him the uh, amount? Did you say I have six thousand whatever dollars. Did you give him that amount, or did he come up with that? I know. I told him that. Um, I told him that. Um, um, uh, okay, like okay. So I went up there, and then um, I went back home in Jersey. And then he, um, what was it? Was it, um, we talked on a phone. That's what it was. It wasn't on the same day. It was on the phone. And I told him that I had a certain amount of money that I wanted to give him. And the reason why Shani said that, I, that I'm getting cheaper, I'm getting cheaper, I'm getting cheaper. Yeah. Is because Shani heard something in the beginning and it involved work. And Shani forgot she didn't do any work. She don't know what a broom is. She don't know what a mop is. They didn't know how to use air freshener or anything like that. You know what I mean? Nor did they use soap and water on their bodies. They didn't do anything I asked them to do. But she keeps talking about me getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. When I went there to go see uh, Rev and I had all that candy and I had some money on me, I went to get him a sandwich. You know what I mean? When when, when I went to that town that they're in yeah. or whatever, that's when we was going to sit down and talk. And I was and like I said, the goal was to get him an RV because I wasn't just going to just give him no money. That was not going to happen. I would have purchased the thing myself, the RV. I would have made him not be able to sell it. He was going to have to get a job. And the and the other thing was, and whether he understood this or not, he was going to have to do it. Shani had to go. Okay. Because she is destroying his life. One qu one question about that, man. And it's not just uh, me. Uh, I know a lot in the chat will kill me if I don't ask you. I have to. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, why, oh, why would you give him an RV? Because a lot of people have asked me, hey, Draven, ask him, please, one day, if you ever talk to him online, uh, why would you? Why would okay, you so, you know, he might not be able to drive it, but if he had property, okay, then he could park the RV on a property. At least he don't have to worry about sleeping outside. That's why. Plus, uh, when he was living in a house at the time, he told me about uh, a guy that was selling an RV that was about um, two or three blocks away. And he told me what the price was. And I think that was the price of the art went on. A, no, 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 it was like about three grand, I think, for the RV, I think. And um, I told him that if I sold the place and, and they helped and they did what I asked them to do, you know, and I would get it for them. I, pro I made a lot of promises to Rev. You understand? Uh, I made the mistake and said similar things to Shani when rev got arrested and i think that's the only reason she she took him back because she thought if she got him back when, when i sold the place she was gonna get all this money and she understood wrong that's what happens when she listens and doesn't get all the, the all of the info or whatever you know yeah so okay so what you're saying is what, what i'm trying to get what you're saying is you felt that you had to uh whatever do it's where um you you felt like you had to. Um, I didn't have you, to do nothing. You what, owe him is what I wanted to do for him. Because of what it's, you it's what I him. wanted to do. Because during that time when I made that offer, I was still friends with him. Talking about when I made the offer when they were living in a house, I was still friends with him. I felt bad for him, um, and, and and I wanted to try to give him a little bit of security because this guy was off his rocker. A bunch of different times because he had no idea what was going to happen, you know, the next day. And I think part of it was Shani didn't know how to control her mouth. And he thought that when she said certain things, I would instantly throw them out or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he was constantly nervous about what would happen. So you, you think when, okay, so making that video on Friday. Because... Oh, and by the way, Rev, if I'm lying about that, feel free to come to my channel when we can talk about that. Oh, he doesn't want to go anywhere. He doesn't want to go anywhere to talk about anything. All he want to do is sit on his couch all day, eat Doritos, and complain about his life. That's all he wants to do. Eat that whole big uh, jar of peanut butter. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, mm -hmm. so, do you feel like them making that video after what it's been? It clearly it's been at least a month, maybe a month and a half since you were there. Um, because I think I saw Melly saying that now it's documented that she said. Uh, if you come back here to consider trespassing, blah 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 blah, do you feel like that's what they're trying to do? They're trying to make you feel like you know, you know what I'm saying? No, they're not making me feel like nothing. Channing and River just brain dead. 
You know what I mean? They ain't making me feel like nothing. I think that <laughs> Shani is attempting to do a scheme and she doesn't know what she's doing. Yeah. That's what I think is going on. She she don't know what she's doing. It doesn't matter what PA law says or anything like that. I, I I've learned from dealing with them that if that, that if they want to see me, I'm gonna get a voice recording or I'm gonna get something in writing that says I can come over there. Once see she she already made the threat saying that if I come over there, they're gonna call the police. I said it's fine. If I'm gonna come there, you're gonna give me a voice recording or you're gonna give me some signed document. Well, I'm not coming there. But to be honest, I'm not going there. They invite me there anyway. To be perfectly honest. The only reason I'm talking about Shani and Rep right now is because I'm on here. Yeah, yeah. Um, to be honest. When's the last time they've actually tried to reach out to you? Like, flat out reach out, hey, uh, Gmail. About a week ago, right? I was say about a week. They, they, because that's when he was making all of those videos and they was um, uh, uh, talking about, talking when Rev made that fake apology video, you know what I mean? Claiming that he was sorry about something that he's not sorry about. And um, uh, da, 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 I responded. No, 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 no. We talked on the phone. He made the apology video. Um, I Shani made a video claiming to be my best friend, acting like she was some prophet of God or whatever, saying a bunch of <laughs> foolishness. And I responded to it. And then that's when they said they're done with me. Uh, thank you, Charlie girl. Uh, going back in and. I got 499. I'm sure that'll play from Hello June. She says, Thanks for the stream. These are always interesting because G Man knows them both so well. Honestly, G Man might have been Rev's last remaining friend. Now, what do you think about that? I know that uh, Rev used to say stuff about like he had maybe one or two friends around the area, maybe he went to high school with or something. But do you feel like he was, you were like, you know, he had a couple of friends in Scranton, but I think they Hello moved there something like that. Because he would never want to see them uh, Super uh, once they moved second. there. The Thanks only person the he wanted to see was Shani and Shani, and that was it. Because G -Man knows them both you know, so well. the funny thing about it is, Honestly, though, now that I think about it, um, when they were living in the house, once they got their tobacco, once they got their food, once they got their Delta 8, once Thanks, the kids sir. got what they got, once they, they were like, okay, G, you can go now. They just wanted their stuff, and they wanted to stay in that room. That's all they wanted to do. He never did any of the things I asked him to do. He was supposed to go downtown and he was supposed to uh, go and get um, his paperwork done so he can move out. But they never had any intention of doing that. Yeah, so they want to uh, well, claim squatters' rights. I mean, you mm. know, I've been. I'll tell you a funny story about that. She any. Um, no, 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 no. I, I was in a car with Rev. And Rev told me that um, if you tried to kick us out, Shani would just claim squatters' right, rights. And that conversation stemmed from what happened when he came there, the first, when she came there from Minnesota. When she came from Minnesota, he tried to kick her out because they had an argument. And he didn't want to deal with it no more. Whoa, 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 and then up. she claimed squatters' rights. Wait, wait, hold on. So, so he was intimidated. Okay. When on. he told me about that, I'm the owner of this house now. So I told him, I said, yeah, she can claim squatters' right. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. I know CPS comes here, and I said that that uh, that if she tries something like that, and this is exactly what I said to Rev, I'll invite I'll I'll invite all of the YouTubers here, and there's nothing you can do about it because it's my house. So wait, wait. And so, then and then I said I'll take out all of the windows in the middle of the winter and rip the roof off. You won't be here long. Where was she gonna claim the squatters' rights? She was gonna do it uh, in that house uh, that that they were staying in when I was when when I was helping them. Oh oh okay. But yeah, she was she's going to try that with the uncle. But 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 when Rail told that to me, that, that didn't bother me because I'm from the hood and, and that ain't going <laughs> to work with somebody like me because I'd be like, OK, legally speaking, I can take out the windows. Yes, I can, because I can um say that I'm just installing new windows. Oh, you can't finish today. Don't worry about it. Don't even bother covering the windows. They can freeze that. that That's exactly what I would have did. I mean, remember, had, the had she tried something like that. Remember the heater situation when it was really cold in PA? Uh. Wait, I I'd... bought them them heaters. They yeah. would have never had heaters had I never bought them the heaters. Yeah, because I didn't believe you. I thought you only had one heater. Uh, no, no, time. no, three heaters. And I made that... fun of the community at the time because I yeah. showed everybody a heater in each room. I still have that video up. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, it's because I didn't I didn't know because I felt like at the time, like, what, what was the reason Like, why... I can't afford a $30 or a $40 heater. Mm -hmm. What was the time that... Uh, <laughs> What was the reason why they had no heat in the house? They it was oil uh, oil house, right? It was oil heat. Oil heat. And I Thank wasn't you. trying to spend 
Uh, well, actually, come to think about it, I look kind of stupid now. But at the time, I was told that the to, to fill those gas tanks the way they use eat was about uh seven hundred to about fourteen hundred dollars to fill to fill both those gas tanks. It was two of them. So um, I would later found out find out after they left that there was a much cheaper source in uh, a near the area where you can get both tanks filled for like for like um for like a uh, three or four hundred dollars. But even but even if that would have been a price, I still wouldn't have did it. Yeah, they would have never cut the heat off, and they would have went right through it. They, they would have went right through it in like about a week or so. You know. So they had no heat. They had the kids there, and what they just had what uh, electricity and that and gerbil internet. or hamster, whatever that thing was, it froze to death in there. Oh my god! Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you know about that? Because those mm-hmm. are conflicting stories. So what? How, how did that happen? I wasn't there. I was told that um, that one day they woke up and they were and and it was dead, or they were dead. <laughs> Holy crap! So from I don't like, know. They it froze. Was like they didn't have there, anything like to eat. Like, I'm coming, Elizabeth. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it was bad. They, they didn't even have the money to be able to give the um, the 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 gerbil or the hamster, whatever that thing was, the proper bedding or whatever, you know. And um, I used to buy them like a big thing of rabbit food because she told me to buy them rabbit food. I bought them a big bag of rabbit food, but then that'd be gone in like a week. I'm not sure how that happens. That, that that gerbil can't possibly eat all them seeds and everything in a week like that. But that's what happened. And uh, just so you know, uh, you know, Omni did ask, and I, I just want to clear uh, this up because I know we just talked about this uh, earlier in the stream that the reason why you never actually was like got proactive to, to call CPS yourself is because a Shani hid a lot of stuff from you. She made sure when you came over, the kids looked kind of presentable, and you know, like because they were she was playing a game with you. And it wasn't until everything kind of fell apart at the end until you realized, oh shit, like there is actual uh, abuse uh, going on here that you really didn't know about until everything kind of fell apart. Yeah, and, I would say that, yeah. I would say was, that. She was, you know, like you said, she was having, she was having the kids call you, she, call you daddy? But yeah, and the reason why Shani uh, tried to rush and do that is because she knew that I was able to financially get her the stuff she wanted because I came there multiple times with Benadryl and all that other stuff and whatnot that she needed. Of course, that ain't what she wanted. She wanted that that Delta Eight nonsense. So, so but um, I would I even told Rev in a text message that I, yeah. I'm I'm feeling because because I started getting convicted about buying all that stuff. I think I haven't. I think I showed it on um on uh on OP Ed's uh Fred uh, uh, uh channel or whatever when it was dragged, mm-hmm. and uh, I think I showed everybody where I, where I said I don't want to buy this Delta Eight no more because I was getting convicted about it. You know what I mean? So I said for now on, when you ask me for money, don't tell me what you're gonna do with it, because 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 if I if 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 I think you're going to you know, go buy that stuff and whatnot. I'm not going to get it because I noticed they always ask for money for cigarettes, Delta eight and food. Never once anything that had to do with moving out, finding a cheaper apartment or anything like that. Well, why would they ask money for food if they were, were on food stamps at the time for the children and, uh, going to they would ask for money for food. Uh, they would ask for money for food every, no, 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 not every, I would say around the middle of the month. Because they were literally going when I wasn't there anyway, they was uh, going to convenient to get their food, and and that place is expensive because you could spend fifty dollars on milk and like uh, eggs and uh, like on some cheese and a couple of bags of potato chips. That place was expensive. But they were going to. Uh, I remember Shani saying clearly that she was going to a food pantry that was by the church that was. Uh, close to, yeah. <laughs> Not that she wasn't going to no. Food. She wasn't was going BS? to no food pantry. Somebody was uh, mailing them food. I don't know who it was. I, and th- one of them told me it was CPS. But th- th- they had given them a, um, a, a air fryer, a microwave, and then they had like they had food. They had like bags of grits that they never cooked. Because uh, it, it, it it was interesting because they would go live on YouTube and tell everybody, including myself, that they had nothing in the house and people would donate to them and get them a fat. Um, that, that fat sandwich y- y- y'all talk about on here a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and they would get on there and say that they don't got no food. And then I would come all the way from Jersey. No, 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 no. At the time from Philadelphia. That's what I was saying. I would come all the way from Philly to come over there and see them. Right. And then I would go there. I said, oh, you poor guys don't got no food. And I would buy all these pizzas. And, and then I go in a cabin and I'd be so mad. I can't repeat some of the things that I was saying in there <laughs> under my breath because I was hot. You know, and, and I saw grits in there and I saw like a spaghetti in there and I saw a meat sauce in there and I saw a meat in there. I saw like 50 or 60 hot dogs in there. You know what I mean? They had food, but they was getting on there telling you guys that they didn't have no food. So that, that was one of those times when I started yelling at them, you know? Oh, by, by the way. So, uh, if and there's ever, a lot of times when I was yelling at them. If you ever uh, talk to that uh, one bad bitch that ran off, you know, uh, I tell her I'm waiting for my apology because I do feel like she should apologize. For everything Teddy gave her about uh, my, 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 my jail history or whatever the hell you want to call it was totally, completely, 100% false. It's slander. And, you know, if she do, if she well, wants uh, to try to make something right. As we talked about. Yeah. As we talked about in private. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I, I would just like her to I apologize. That's all yeah. I'm going to say. You can I'll relay her, her the message. If, I, if, if, if she ever texts me, you know, I'll let her know. <laughs> but, um, it ain't like we talk all the time or whatever. She just texts, she emails me sometimes. But, um, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. But so, as far as the shanty thing goes, mm -hmm. uh, as far as I know, they never went to no pantry. And there was a pantry, and I didn't even know this until they moved out, but there's a pantry that was a block or two away from where they was. Every yeah, yeah. Friday, they can go over there and go get food. Where was Rev uh, walking when he used to do, uh, you know, when he used to walk all the time uh, to the store? He was walking to that uh, gas the station? The convenient mart was down, was down the hill. Ah, it was okay. down the hill. Yeah, that was a convenient mart down there. There's a convenient mart right there on the corner. And then if you, let me see something. If you make a left, there's a, a vape shop that's over there that me and him would go to where I would want, where I get him this little Delta 8 or whatever. And and um and, and, and you can buy like little foods there or whatever. Hey, uh, Von Beardo asks, uh, did uh, Shani ask for Benadryl frequently? When you say frequently, what do you mean? Like daily, a weekly, monthly? What do you mean? Uh, yeah, like with the, maybe a couple days a week, maybe once a week. Like you know, I guess Benadryl. No, 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 no. Um, uh, she would want Benadryl. I would say like um, like uh, once a month or something like that. So she would have, and then she would get the Benadryl and claim that Benadryl don't do nothing for her. The only thing that helps her is weed <laughs> or Delta Eight. See, I, I think it's crazy because, and maybe it's because I she's think he's over, an addict. Yeah, uh, in, in, over there in, in Scranton, but like, I would figure somebody with her obesity and size and everything, and they she would have like you know get state medical and have one of those like uh, over the counter cards to use at the Dollar General or you know one of those uh you know dollar stores to pick up like over the counter stuff like Benadryl would you wouldn't have to uh, pick it up or anything. That ain't how I got Benadryl. <laughs> yeah. I go right to the I go right to the distributor and get Benadryl. Oh just I like... never paid retail for that stuff. <laughs> if I paid retail I would never be able to afford to get the, the, with, with that woman who wanted please. <laughs> Just like, uh, just like when you were getting them the, uh, what do you call it? the, uh, the Delta Eight. I, I literally went yeah. there one time. I went there one time with about, uh, well, in in, uh, see retail, you can get about, uh, let me see, one, two, three, depending where you go, you can get three Delta Eights for about a hundred bucks. I think at that time at retail. Uh, now I think you can get like maybe four over there. I'm not 100 percent sure. It depends on which store you go to, or whatever. But when mm -hmm. I got it wholesale, I would get like um, I would get like uh, 11 or 12 for like um, for like uh, uh, for 100 dollars. Like the amount of that stuff that that woman consumed, you wouldn't believe the amount of gummies that she ate in a single sitting. <laughs> it's just crazy. No, I. I believe you. Like you know, um, I don't know if you saw that. There, there's this new cartoon. It is hilarious, and Shanny's all huge, and Rev's all skinny. I saw it. 
I yeah. saw it. Uh, and, Carrie uh, played it yesterday. Yeah, I saw and it. you know what? It's so true, though. I mean, I, I laugh, but like that dude is starving, and. It is, it is really I can't help him. <laughs> it's against the law to make him eat. So I, 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 I can't do it, you know? So I done did my part. Y'all had y'all fun with them because yeah. um, I went over there and tried to buy him a sandwich and that woman refused for him to get a sandwich. That is the most evilest banshee I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so to try to uh, put this to, a, a, to, a, to an end, so you never have to answer this ever again and everyone will know now, the only reason you ever was talking about giving Rev money or a RV or somewhere to get away from her is because of the kindness she showed you when you needed it, right? Exactly, exactly. And Rev is listening to Shanny now, and now he thinks he can try to manipulate me. Uh, when I was stupid and that stuff was working on me, that is something a female can use. But him, he can, he can cut that mess out because so I you- see right through it. Do you feel like when people say, well, I don't know why you would, you know, tell someone's, you know, private business if you were such good friends. <laughs> oh, here. Thanks, Kelly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's up? So he gets on here and uses my first and he uses my last name. He talks about what he believes is my my mental condition and all those other stuff, saying that I was locked up for four years and all those other stuff and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, what is, but, what is, yeah, I wanted yeah, to ask you about that. You know what that. I mean? And then, is, and, then, and, and, and then he's got the nerve to complain about somebody I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Those who hate it when they're part of the reaction thinking and whatnot, but they forget at the video, 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 where they reacted to people um uh, uh when, when they was in Boulder, calling them poor, Saying that they, you know, teasing them, going on those halls, make people look bad and everything and whatnot. You know, you do it yeah. to them, you're doing a bad thing. They do it to you, it's all good. So, when, uh, so are you saying like when you, you know, I know you've been around since like before this, the, the great debate uh, times. And like I said, I want to try to get the great debate, the original OGs together and talk to them about how that went down. Cause I am very curious because that's kind of how we have this type of reaction community today i mean you know if you want to be factual with all this stuff i love you know the facts but you want to know how i got involved with shanny no 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 um not how you how you got involved with shanny but like i can tell you how i met her i can tell you uh um uh the conversations we had but it was never like you know she she said she was married she had kids and then then, you know (laughs) no no my question was when you were yeah. online, your first online presence with them, you didn't go by yeah. that name, right? You went by G Man, right? Or wrong? That's the name I always use on here is G Man. Okay, so the, the name that they before I used... met them, I was going by XX0054. Oh, okay, so the name that they use, the name that Rev still uses, is the name you told him privately. You know, IRL. What are you privately. talking about? You talk, wait a minute, you talking about my, my, my YouTube name or my real name? Your real name. When he says your real well, name. Well, he had to know what my real name was in order for me to get the um in order for me to get the place. Get the documents the house. had to be signed. Okay, so but yeah. okay. So that's what the point I'm getting. It wasn't like you put it out there and he could say, Well, hey, public record, blah blah blah. Wait a minute. Wait, is... no, 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 no. What happened was this, and, and this is documented. If you go to my G Man channel, I believe the video was still up. I ran a marathon. Right. Uh, I think it was my first one. Right, and yeah, um, I, 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 I got on YouTube and I told everybody that, um, you know, I ran a marathon, you know, and I talked about all the trials and tribulations of doing it and whatnot, because it was my very, very first one. And then I told everybody what my name was. OK. Now, I was still fairly new to YouTube. I didn't know about the um, about the the nuances of uh, privacy and all that stuff and whatnot. Right. Mm-hmm. But. Uh, uh, some of the, like, 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 like I, I would say about a year, year and a half later or whatever, maybe two years later, a uh, YouTuber by the name of Alex Botten got a hold of that video and said that, um, you know, did you know that your name is in your email address? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, um, I said to him, um, I don't know what you're talking about showing him that I didn't want, um, you know, uh, uh, people using my name or whatever and whatnot, right? Because by then, I understood privacy and all that stuff and whatnot, right? Yeah. So he invited me to his channel, and at the end of his channel, he pulled that mess. And then the whole community thought that because I said that in the video that they gave them permission to start using my name. So I made a video, and I made it crystal clear that when people deal with me, my name is G-Man, 
And if anybody calls me outside of my name, I will not be dealing with you. And if I do deal with you, I'm not going to deal with you nicely. And this is before I started doing the things that they were doing it to me back to them. And I was like, I'm not going to stoop to that level. I'm not going to stoop to that level. And they just kept doing it more and they kept doing it more and they kept doing it more. And then I got fed up. You don't hear a lot of people doing that mess no more now. Because because I'm because <laughs> the, the GTV days, I, I get I handed out receipts and I handed them out a lot. Okay. Like I guess yeah. I, I was just trying to get to the bottom of like when he uses your name. Yeah, it's the not point is, is that he thinks him. he's using an atheist argument. He's using yeah. it, well, not the atheist argument. He's using Botton's argument by saying that because I made the video, it's okay for him to refer to me that way. Hmm. And it's not. You well, never put yourself out Once there. a person communicates to you that they don't want you doing it and you keep doing it, you're violating TOS as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. Especially, you know, uh, those fools like Teddy Bear try to say that I went by a different name uh, on my YouTube and that was totally false. This always went by Draven. Sometimes it was just Draven, then Draven Script, uh, Draven Script Show, and now it's Draven Script Incorporated because I have a couple of people that are, you know, helping me uh, keep going. So it's like a corporation. But here's the thing, though. But here's the thing. Yeah. Everybody knows where Rev lives, right? <laughs> Just about everybody knows where he lives. If I use that stupid logic that he was using in, in, in the beginning of all of my videos, I can say Rev, who lives at this address, you know, and then make the title of my video or whatever and put it right in the title or whatever, right? Because it's public knowledge. Just because uh, the, the public found out something doesn't necessarily mean you have the right to go out there and use it whenever you want. Because if you do, and then it turns out that you, that uh, person's, person B's information is out there for everybody to see, then there's nothing wrong with me doing it to your back. You know what I mean? And if you give it to a bigger YouTuber, then there's going to be a lot more people that probably don't like you that's going to be contacting you in your real life and whatnot. You know what I mean? That's why people shouldn't play around with that kind of stuff, you know? Well, like, right or wrong? Personally, I'm Like, just, right or wrong? No, no, I hear I hear what you're saying. Like, like... But my, it's true, though, right? My thing was, I just wanted to know how... I mean, obviously... Draven, you got your Draven, Draven, Draven. It's true, though, right? Uh, it's true that they shouldn't be using your name if that's not the name that you wanted to go by. I try to use people right, that they want right. to go by here, but... If people have been trying to play around with doxing, you know, playing that game. Oh, then, yeah, then, then they deserve a receipt. And I yeah. think the general audience will understand that. But if somebody's doing it to be a jerk, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, like if I want it to be evil to like Rev, I can just take his address and give Throw it to some of the there. creepiest people on the planet of the world and whatnot, let them go and visit him or whatever, you know? Yeah. And like I said, I. It's public knowledge, right, Rev? I hear that, and like Ridiculous. I said, it doesn't mean anything that I can agree uh, with that uh, with that statement. Um, so, what do you think that they want from this point? I am personally, though, surprised. I don't care what they want. I don't want nothing to do with them no more. <laughs> I'm surprised. I don't try to help Rev. Has left let them stay in that house. I figured before winter got here, that was going to be it. But that's when Shani was like, "My fibro, I go cancer." And, you know, stuff like that. And it was just they, really... They need money to pay the man rent. They need big money to pay the man rent because he's getting... From what he told me on the phone, um, he's harassing them about rent right now. Or not harassing them. Um, getting on them about rent. You mean recently you're talking? Yeah, recently, yeah. They... they um, When I talked to Rev on the phone, when he made that... Around the time when he made that apology video, he was telling me that he needed money to pay the uncle rent so they can stay there. Because if they don't, they got to start looking for somewhere to go. So he was pretending to be all nice to me on the phone and whatnot. And, and I and I cut him off and I said, Rev, you know, mm -hmm. uh, we need to talk about a few things, bro. Because, uh, uh, you know, uh, and and I actually told him to start off with me. I mean, three, give me three or four things about me that I've been doing that gets on your nerves. Because when it's my turn, I'm going to unload on you. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. um, he didn't want to name anything. And, I, and, and the first thing I brought up was, you know, him calling me the N-word when he was in Colorado and then doing it, you know, in PA. You told the uncle. And what was the other thing? You told the uncle that. Mm -hmm. So no, I told Rev that. Okay. Oh, you I told, told Rev, Rev that. I got you. And then, and then I told him because because he was telling me he was starving, he needed twenty dollars. I said, "Why didn't you ask me to send you DoorDash or something like that, or send you some uh, Uber Eats or whatever?" You, you know what I mean? No, I, I know I just need twenty dollars. You know, uh, Shani and I need twenty. No, and then I said to him, "I said I'm not giving you money for Delta Eight. I like I cut right to the chase, and I said that to him. And I said, if you want anything out of me, the first thing you need to do." 
because he was saying that Shani was dead to me and everything and whatnot, and Shani had nothing to do with this. I told him that 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 he needed to go on YouTube and he needed to apologize. Oh, uh, but hold on a second. You know, when he gave me that fake apology that he gave me. I just want to. Say, what does this got to do with the video that he recently made, though? Uh, well, hold hold on a second. I just want to say again for some people, um, I let my chat uh dictate what happens, or my people, my mods dictate what happens in the chat. They take care of it while I do my thing. Uh, without the chat, I wouldn't have a channel. Without the chat, I wouldn't be here. I'm very grateful to them, and so I let them control the flow of what's the chat is going on. They give people a chance, and that's how it's always been since day one. And so I just want to throw it out there. I try my best to be a neutral. But uh, yeah, uh, G-Man, uh, I guess the point is, I just don't know why Rev, you know. I mean, Ooh. obviously, Shani wanted what him to What is it, an video. interrogation? Because you've been just asking me rapid questions. We're not, like, talking. Oh, You're just asking me a bunch of questions. Like, what is I this? Because I just get curious. An interview or something? <laughs> I get curious, man. Um, I get curious because I feel like, like Rev could have made this a month ago, right? As to when you first went there. But then do it now? It just seems like very, you know. Because Shani's convinced. Shani, can, Shani wants big money. That's what she wants. She's tired of getting on YouTube and begging all the time. She wants big money and she wants to try to get my money. And it ain't happening. Oh. It's not happening. I see what you're saying. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. Shani's manipulating him and he's stupid for listening to her. Oh. All right, uh, that makes sense. Like and I, I hope said, you heard me say it. I, I I get what you're saying now because they're getting flack from the uncle. Hey, you know you're not even making any type of money. They don't have what they don't have a they have a what that Instagram. I don't even know if that's monetized or not. They don't have they don't do the Twitch. If, if it was monetized, I'm not making nothing because from yeah. what I understand, when I watch Carrie, ain't nobody watching them. Well, and they yeah. got like two viewers or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you need at least social media uh, pays pays uh pays them to you know eat spicy pizzas. So, well, she who? was, you know, anti social media. Uh, Teddy's best buddy, the one who uh buys everybody laptops and stuff. See, some oh, people can't be okay. bought around here. You know, she tried to buy yeah. me for four hundred dollars to go after uh Robin Eagle's song. You know, Robin Eagle's song, and people have actually told me that. Robin Eagle song can have her own uh, share of, of uh, issues, and uh, yeah. But she better not even waste her time trying to contact me because I'm not no. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you know her. Don't even waste your time. Yeah. Yeah, and but that's where a lot of the, this money was coming from. But I, I guess because I don't know, Eddie's hiding out in the woods. You know, <laughs> he needs all the money yeah. right now, and uh, you know he can't be giving it to Shani and Rev. Which I still don't understand. Oh. The, the dude, like, you know, is on probation, owes a lot of money to people for scamming them out of Royal Rumble tickets. I mean, man, you would like that. Uh, uh, G Man, I mean, you got that uh, WWF uh, um, belt. <laughs> you ever go to Royal Rumble? Well, no, I've never been to Mania or Rumble. My, my brother asked me today that I want tickets to go to Mania, and I told him no. How much would it Because I been? just don't like the product right now. I just don't like it. <laughs> How um, yeah um yeah man I I'm sorry I'm not trying to give you the third degree or put you out on the spot um you know since I did talk to you uh, uh last you know uh, a lot of people here and there was asking me questions and then when Rev when I saw this video like I just played where Rev was like uh about this over six thousand dollars I want that blah 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 I'm like where's all this <laughs> <laughs> where's all this coming from. He was very specific on numbers, and I'm like, "That's that's Shani, Rev. You know, he's a dandy. He's a mom. yeah. I, when they make their next video on the 18th or the 19th or whatever, I guess they'll clarify it. Why are you saying that, that'd be the time when they run out of stamps? Ah, okay. So, all right. So to backtrack a little, maybe bit. sooner. Um, uh, if if it's it, a backtrack, you you said you recently spoke to the the uncle, like within the past. No, I didn't week. say that. I didn't oh, say that. I thought you said you spoke and he said that he would, you know. No, I spoke to Rev. I didn't speak to the uncle. Oh, you spoke to Rev. Okay. No, I spoke to Rev and Rev told me that the uncle wants, wants uh, rent. Mm -hmm. He wants to pay rent because the uncle was saying that if they can't pay rent, then they got to find somewhere to go soon. Do you know how much uh, Shani was paying the uncle before? Like when she had that Twitch chat? And Nothing. That... <sighs> Nothing. Shit. I mean, I'm not surprised, but damn. 
She yeah. hasn't given me anything. She hasn't given him anything. Well, she owes you money. And she, and, and the funny thing is, she she showed me one time uh, when they first uh, arrived in PA, and I met them in person for the first time. She showed me her ad revenue, and I never seen ad revenue on YouTube before because hey, I never monetized like that before. And yeah. uh, I, I I think she had like a thousand or eleven $1, hundred <laughs> or something like that on her uh, on her thingy, and then she got mad because uh, they mass flagged her. And then she she said she would still get her money, but it would have affected it somehow or something like that. I don't know. And then when she moved in the house, she showed me her ad revenue uh, for Twitch. And I think it was like about four or $500, but Rev told me that she was making like $1,000. And I never saw a dime, not a dime. A thousand a month? Mm-hmm. Well, and Rev was that telling donation? me that, th that that money was being used to buy medication. It means Delta 8. Yeah, I remember I remember this specifically because I, I went there and it was like about 11 o'clock at night and we was going to pizza, uh, what was that, Domino's or something like that, Pizza Hut or something like that. And uh, we went, there, no, it wasn't 11, it was about 9 or 10, I think. And But it was nighttime and we were driving in a car and then he told me, that, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, that was the night he told me that witchcraft was okay. And then he told me that Shani actually gets money on her um, on her uh, uh, Twitch or whatever, or whatever the heck she was, I think it was Twitch. And uh, he told me that she gets almost a thousand dollars, and I said she, this woman couldn't even give me a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars for letting them stay there. So like, ooh, me and him got in a little bit of an argument because you know he wants to defend her all the time. But, but she makes doesn't. money; she doesn't yeah. give it to nobody though. She wants to use everybody else's money. I can believe that. I I can definitely uh, believe that. So. The reason why I'm mad at Shani, I am legitimately, I, I have legitimate reasons to be mad at her. She ain't nothing but a user. So at one time you were paying the rent or the mortgage, you were paying the uh, water, the sewer mortgage. bill, the... Uh, no, 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 there was no mortgage. That house is paid for. Oh, okay, so you're just paying uh, the taxes. Paying I was the paying the taxes. I was paying to repair that place. I was paying her. I was I was doing some of the repairs, and I was paying to, to to get the place repaired and whatnot. And on top of that, um, I was buying the food, clothes, um, medication, 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 uh, and other stuff. As a matter of fact, they cared more about the medication th than they did about having a bed to sleep on. Yeah, uh, because that's why they were sleeping on the couch, couches. They wasn't sleeping on no couch. No, they were sleeping on that on that mattress on the floor with the big yellow and brown ring in it. <laughs> Didn't you see the picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything she had had a stain on it. She I remember she had that green screen it had a big like greasy stain on. It. Uh, yeah. The, the Rev told is, me that she uh that she couldn't always make it to the bathroom and they slept on that thing and it was like ugh. <sighs> Yeah, well, she used to... Uh, and then, and then I got mad at him, about. and I told him, I said, why don't you be, you know, because the government will pay you to take care of Shani if she's as handicapped as she said she was. And for what I understand, they'll give you about $500 a week. four to $500 a week if, 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 if she becomes... I'm sorry, if he becomes a caretaker. He didn't even want to do that. I'm telling you, when they got up in the morning, it was Foodie Beauty, Truthfully Trisha, Trisha Paytas, uh, uh, whatever you guys were doing on YouTube... The latest thing that happened on TikTok, uh, around the afternoon or the evening, they, they, they would watch movies. You know what I mean? They ate a, a, a very high level of junk food. It, it is true. The man only eats peanut butter, but sometimes he eats sandwiches sometimes. You know what I mean? And, and, they, and then they go to bed and repeat the cycle. They don't do nothing. I had to go there and raise, and raise Hades in there to get them to do anything. Hello. Yeah. Oh no, sorry. I was just yeah. uh, I was just letting you talk. Um okay, so to sum that up, you feel like when you couldn't like physically couldn't uh pay for their way anymore. They were in that I think they were in the hotel. That's when you realize you just, you don't want to deal with them helping them financially. You were gonna take You know care why of they went to the hotel the first time, right? I mean, well, why they went to the hotel in the first place, right? You kicked them out, right? So you could try to clean up the house? Uh, well, that, yeah, because we got into an argument over him not wanting to work. But the other issue was I was going to sell the place, and they had to keep the place clean. 
clean and, and they had to make sure that the place didn't smell. They couldn't do that. Like I had some strong deodorizers and I still couldn't get that smell out of that house. <laughs> and um, I walked in there one day and Shani told this story and it's actually true. I walked in there one day and I, and I looked in the bathroom and it had like that gray dirt all around that white tub. Mm -hmm. And um, I told Rev he needed to go in the bathroom and clean that because I was going to have people come look at the place and whatnot. And he gave me an attitude. And then when I looked to my left, there was a, a, a litter box with, and this, and by the way, the kids ain't there at this time, okay? There was a litter box with um, poop and everything Shit. on the floor and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it was dry. It wasn't even wet. So that means that poop's been sitting there a long time. You know what I mean? So I yelled at him and I said, listen, man, what happened to the agreement that we had? You're not doing anything I actually do because the room stunk. The, the other two rooms stunk. They didn't do nothing with the bathroom. They wasn't doing anything. So he was telling me I couldn't talk to him that way. He was a grown man, all this other mess and whatnot. And I was like, listen, I'm going to throw you out of here if you don't start doing what I, you know. <laughs> it was one of those arguments. And and I think the neighbor next door complained a little bit the next day about how loud I was yelling because I was yelling loud. I think I lost my voice that day. But um, I told him he, he went there, cleaned the tub, and then the water wouldn't even go down the drain. It was so it was so dirty. So um. I told I I, I said, look, you guys got to get out of here and whatnot. I told them that um, I will pay for you guys to go to a hotel, and when the place is sold, we'll talk. You know what I mean? And um, I think the following week, because it wasn't it wasn't the day. I think the following week or the end of the month, they ended up uh, packing everything up and they ended up leaving. I told them it wasn't going to work because they wasn't doing anything. Oh. And then on that last day, that's when Rev told me. Uh, in a goofy way, he said that, um, and to think that Shani, that we thought that you was going to get frustrated and give us back the house. You know what I mean? Yeah, I remember, I remember you saying that. Uh, some yeah. people are asking, uh, I think we touched on it for a second, but then we went into another uh, topic. Where is Rev getting this uh, new information that you were in a mental institution for years? Like, what? I have no idea. That's that's all. That's a a new thing he's kind of came up with, right? Mm -hmm. But Rev is the one who spent time when uh, he uh, threatened an official, and I do have that on my channel when Rev was talking to Infowars, talked about them taking all his guns. In fact, a G man, you even said on the channel, uh, you had a you asked him to come and get one of his rifles that he left there, right? Yeah, he left. He left two weapons there. He had an assault rifle. At least that's what I thought it was. And then he had a um, he had a Glock there. The Glock I threw in the garbage because he told me to. And this is when he had wet brain. And um, when uh, when when Shani and him was in Colorado, I said because she told me, quote, save a couple of microphone stands and throw everything in the garbage, because she she was trying to tell me that the reason why they was in Colorado was because he had an alcohol problem and she wanted him to stop drinking. Oh, he definitely. You know, obviously everybody knows that that's not true now. So, um, <clears throat> so uh, the Glock I threw in the garbage. Uh, threw the ammunition for the Glock in the garbage. Is that allowed? But the rifle, when I I don't know, she just told me to throw it in the I threw it in the garbage. <laughs> so okay. the rifle, I didn't know nothing. So uh, the rifle, um, uh, when they kicked me out on my last day, I used my phone and I recorded everything. I recorded um. Uh, uh, how the house looked, make sure there was no damages, because I treated it like an eviction or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then um, uh, I, I recorded the police officer that came there and got the gun, because I called them. I said, look, I'm not stupid. I'm black. This place is predominantly Caucasian. My fingerprints is on this. Uh, you know, you need to come here and pick up this this thing or whatever. And, and the cop came, and the cop came and took the rifle. Because I wasn't walking into no station like they was telling me. That's, I was not doing that. You need to come here and get this thing. As I was living here, he left this here. And um, my fingerprints is on this thing. And I don't want to get accused of nothing. You know what I mean? No, yeah, yeah. Um, I just remember And hearing... guess what? That gun is still in downtown Scranton. And he still won't go get it. That's an easy $200 for him if he can actually go down there and go get it. And he can sell it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't, Crazy. I don't know if that he's got, was allowed he's to got, in the garbage. He's got savings bonds. He has savings bonds. 400 yeah. and something dollars worth of savings bonds. And he's too lazy to go cash those in. Uh, oh, you have an incoming question from Hello June. Hello June asks for 499. Thank you very much. Hello June. I appreciate it. Says, question for G-Man. 
Danny always said, and it's going to apply, but I'm going to read it to you first. Question. Danny always uh, said she lost her because of her tongue ring. Was she ever honest with you about how she lost her? Real talk, I never asked her about it, and nor did I care. <laughs> but did you... My mind wasn't on that kind of stuff. <laughs> but did you notice? Because I noticed right away. You look at this, some of the older videos. No, 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 I wasn't looking. I, I just Hello wasn't looking. June has just donated $4. When we were friends, super chat. I was Question for attempting to be Shin respectful. And when I would go over there, I would be concerned about fixing was the place up, making sure everybody was okay in there. And we would watch like a horror movie or, or play some video games before I would leave. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, but, uh, I never knew nothing about her teeth or anything like that. What The only thing I noticed right away was how they smelled. Because even when they was um at the uncle's, you like all of their clothes teeth? just stunk. Oh. I mean, you would think that after being in a car and whatnot for that long, that they would go to the sink <laughs> and at least wash it with some soap or something like that, you know? Yeah. Oh, like, like and Reb's worse. teeth is like mega yellow, too. Yeah. Yeah, they were always, they always looked like they ate some corn. It took a picture, like, after he just ate a big bite of corn. He smokes a lot of cigarettes, and I mean a lot of cigarettes. You think that's from cigarette smoke? Mm-hmm. He smokes a lot. His teeth is just as jacked up as hers is. <laughs> I don't know, but I think at least he has some left. Yeah. But, yeah, I always wonder, because, uh, do you, you remember Megan Hiltz? Hmm? Do you remember the, uh, Shani's old mod? Uh, her name was Megan. Megan Hiltz. No. Well, anyway, the she only said... real friend Shani ever had was Hannah Stout, and she stomped her. She had oh. a friend called uh, I think Brett King was her friend, and then she had a friend uh, uh, Faith or something like. That. I think her name was Faith. I remember. But hearing uh, about aside her. from that, yeah, yeah, Hannah Stout. If you can ever get her on, get her on here. Ugh, she'll <laughs> tell you some stuff because she tried to buy her. Shani accused her of um of uh of, of of using her for money and whatnot. And Shani gave them money for food. And it's kind of ironic that they're in that situation because um Hannah Stout told them that she was struggling to eat and her baby was struggling to eat in, in her household or whatever. So Shani gave them two hundred dollars and then Shani kept rubbing it in her face. Oh. Over and over and over and over and over again. Gotcha. Um You gotta get her to come on your channel one day, so she'll tell you. Oh yeah, no, that would I'll definitely uh, And Brett Keen, ask Brett Keen about the um about the bullet to my head, how she said I deserved the bullet in the head. So what you're saying is Shani would always get very zero to a hundred with you you fighting with various topics. I was in a car with them one day in a, in a Durango and Shani is really touchy feely about the R about the R subject. So we, we we were talking, and she was talking about some celebrity and what happened to the celebrity. And I said something that was kind of insensitive about what she said about it, and she went to zero to 100. She went totally loco on me. Verbally, not physically, verbally. Are you there? Yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just thinking about, you know, like what everyone's asking, and I'm just thinking about, I, I don't know what is, no. But Shani would never put her hands on me because Shani, I, I told Shani straight up, I say, the day you put your hands on me, you're getting out of this house. I told her that straight I say, I am not red. I told her that straight up, especially when he shaved his head. I said, if you ever try that mess with me, I'm kicking you out of here. Did, oh, yeah, yeah. Did he shave his head or did she do that to him and put that Ed, scarlet A he on did his that. head? He, he did he that did himself. That. Why? But he didn't, he didn't shave Because he's the... stupid. He don't know his Bible and he claims he was doing, a, he was atoning for what he did. He's a he, moron, doesn't know what he's talking he about. He didn't do anything. She said he was talking to hookers, and that's not true at all. He wasn't talking to me. Shani has been park. with Rev. I know Rev is watching this, but since Shani <laughs> hey, has been with him, <laughs> Shout out. she has flirted with Dragnut, Dragnut's wife, me, me, uh, uh, BGTV. She's flirted <laughs> with uh, a whole bunch of people. On the internet, and never one time did he tell her to shave her head. And Shani, since you're watching this, Shani, you do understand that that's one one of a million reasons why nobody will ever date you ever again, right? 
You do know that, right? Because you had something wrong with you. Like honestly. Anyway, yeah, G Man. Uh uh definitely though. Uh for future for, for future reference, if anyone ever tells you to throw a firearm, especially if, if the firearm is not in pieces with with, with the ammunition in in the garbage, uh say no. Put it in a in a box, bury it in the backyard. I think bury uh throwing it in a garbage can lead issue especially if it's like on a school zone or something like that so well, i made sure i put on rubber gloves if you're talking about fingerprints or whatever <laughs> no, i definitely wa- wiped totally that thing cool. down and i made sure i had some um, rubber gloves on my fingerprints wasn't on that thing that's for sure i'm not stupid i, I see too many uh to i that. see too many uh black men go to jail over over that nonsense and i wasn't going to be one of them well what did you did you feel at the time you just didn't want you know you just didn't want the firearms near you didn't want the fire. Uh-uh, nope. Uh-uh, uh-uh. And I was there the whole time. How do I know that she wasn't going to have somebody go there and say, oh, he touched it, use gloves or whatever, and, sh- and then do something to somebody, and then I get blamed for it? I wasn't trying to hear that mess. How did you find them? It was easy. I would like, uh, it was in the, where was it? It was in the, it was in the closet, I think upstairs or something like that. It was kind of hard not to see it, to be honest, because it was out in the open. In the closet. Yeah, uh, June and check, uh, or hello, June. Uh, Shani, I, the one time I was talking to her and she came in the stream and started yelling at me, calling me a liar and stuff. I, I, uh, she tried to porn bomb me. I put her and Rev backstage. You? Yeah, and I put them backstage. And when when was they on your channel? Oh, this was like two years ago. Uh, she. Oh, you gotta give me that link. You yeah, gotta I'll, give me that link, dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the link. Uh, <laughs> she that. freaked out at me, and <laughs> she. Uh, I put the backstage, and when I did, she first brought her. I guess it was a part of a boob out, and then like she like took her pinky, and I'm like, "What is she doing with her pinky?" And she was like, "She was I, trying to get your channel flag." Yeah, she was like touching Rev's little uh, winky there. And I'm telling you, like, you know, <laughs> not to be a jerk to you, Rev, but it was like the small, I mean, it was really dark, though. It was the smallest thing. I mean, he really, he was all piercing. <laughs> and I'm like, mm. if I was like three seconds late, yeah, I would have been in a lot of trouble. Yeah. So like you said, she would have gotten uh, my channel flagged. And then at the time, I'm like, oh, real good Christian, you know? And to me, that's when yeah. I realized, like, that you know Mm -hmm. um because you know to to shield herself from any type of criticism oh i'm a well i praise g but you don't like somebody you're going to you know porn bomb them and flag their channel for nudity i think that's bs i've never done that because that's just she ain't gonna say whatever she wants but she ain't is whatever the heck she was before she claimed to become a christian she's full of it Oh, did you ever see when she was on? Uh, and 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 I know Rev don't like hearing this, but Rev's full of it too. Yeah, no, I know he's I full of it too. See yeah, when she was on. Uh, what that guy? Real Stream News. And she, oh yeah, that was her... well, real, real, real stream. Real stream was a uh, was was a uh, how can I put this? He was being uh, he was being smart on how to deal with them. <laughs> yeah, well, she took her top off. I mean, eventually it's. Oh like yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that, but he edited that. I didn't see all that. Thank God. I uh. I did. So he didn't have time to cut it out. He had to cut the feed and then cut that part out or uh, bleep it out, so you couldn't see nothing, and then put it back up. But yeah, he had to cut it like right away. Back and, in the Google Plus days and the Great Debate days, whenever somebody came in my room and I didn't know who they were. My yeah. phone, my finger was always on the eject button immediately. I was just waiting for them to, to, to even smell like they was going to do it. Because back then, all they had to do was cut their camera on, and then you would, they can just easily do it to you. I think StreamYard is a little bit tougher to do it, though. Uh, my ass is ragged. No. Um... And by the way, for the people that are watching this, the Great Debate Days are coming back yeah, next interested. year. Uh no uh yeah um yeah uncle well, a couple people were asking about that thing uh no uh, G man was not or ever was institutionalized he doesn't know why uh Rev said that Rev was uh 
but he doesn't know why Re uh, if is making up this new narrative. But uh, this is what they do, right? They just start to make up narratives. I mean, do you ever get surprised sometimes when you hear them, or do you think that that they're making no, not really, not 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 not. I think that they're trying to get attention for the Instagram. That's what I think they're trying to do. Yeah, because like you said, mm -hmm. they become. They have become very, very, very boring. The point where well, just... I told you, I told you in private that 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 was coming. All, all they're gonna do is beg now. You're not yeah. gonna get the streams that you got before when he gave their opinions on everything. Now all it is is beg, 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 beg. And when they get what they want, they're gonna immediately um, uh, uh, uh stop talking about stuff or whatever. Best thing y'all can do is don't give them a dime until they talk for like about nine hours or something. You know, well, make them talk about real. something. They must be real desperate now if you're saying that, you know, they, they can't they can't pay you rent. I mean, I don't know if the uncle's, just, you know, uh, tallying up, keeping a score sheet of, you know, IOUs or something for, for Rev. And by the way, I, don't, I, I changed my mind on something. I don't think the uncle's going to give them that house because Rev can't afford to pay the taxes. He has to work in order to do that. Oh, you're saying that you thought that? Yeah, I thought that the uncle was getting ready to give it back to him, but I doubt that's going to happen because he can't afford the taxes. Uh, well, and plus that place has to be repaired in order to be sold. There's no. a lot of problems with that place. Oh, like 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 the one you sold? It... No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. That one's in better condition, but the but the porch doesn't look very stable. Yeah, you told me that before that the porch was kind of yeah. That porch don't look very stable. Well, probably yeah. Shanny walked on it. <laughs> um, but uh. One of you should probably plant a um, uh, uh, one of those deer cameras or something like that across the street from that house, and you'll see there's nothing <laughs> wrong with her. Which there's nothing wrong with her when she walks outside. She keeps saying she keeps claiming she's in pain. There's nothing wrong with that woman. I'm telling you. Unless it's it's psychosomatic, you know. It's um, not even a somatic. I mean, at this point, she might as well just stop the pretending, and then just get on YouTube and just be herself because, you know. After I saw her walk around like that, she knows I'm not listening to that mess no more. Is that the only thing though with that house? It's it's paid off as well. It's, it's just a tax, pay the taxes type of thing. Yep. Is there is there? They can't afford that. Is there back taxes like uh, the one that he gave you? I have no idea if the uncle's got it. It's probably they probably ain't because he seems to be really responsible. Is it big? Like, is it as big as the one that you sold? I would say, yeah. And that's that, but I, but, was... but I think the one I, I think the one I sold after I fixed it up and everything was in better yeah. condition. And that was his childhood home, and the one that he's in now was his grandmother's house, correct? They had a house before, uh, before the one they gave me. Everybody keeps saying that's his childhood home, not necessarily. He had a he had a, they had a place before, um, the, uh, he lived there. I forget where though. Oh, okay, he told me, but I forget where. I think it's just crazy. This guy, Rev, you know, has no education, got all this money. Through He's got a high school diploma. Yeah, three quarters of a million dollars. Shani's got a GED, I think. Yeah. She got a good enough diploma. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what we used to call him. Uh, but uh, he had three quarters of a million dollars. We call him, uh, in, in the hood, we call him a, a welfare degree. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, a welfare high, it's a welfare diploma. Yeah. Hey, Sometimes, especially back in the day, people, you know, I do. It, it's better than having no degree, you know? Well, I, the only reason I'm making a big deal about it, because she claims she went to college. Yeah. And she, and if you look if you look far enough, you'll hear me talking about how she has a college education and she has a degree in psychology. And it, yet I never saw those things. That's how far gone I was. But yeah, you, I mean, you got, you got intimate knowledge. In everything, I mean, you were going through when they left. They left everything right in that house, so you were going mm -hmm. through stuff. And like you said, that the carpet stunk, and uh, there was a, a, a feces on the floor, and you don't know if it was cat, human, a little bit of both. Uh, there was garbage bags that had personal information, and you would say, "Hey, uh, do you want this, Shani?" And she would like what, like just never get back to you. You're talking about with the stuff that they had there? The stuff that they left there, yeah. Uh, Okay, you talking about the first time, or are you talking about when they lived there? Uh, I guess the last time if, that if, they if left. You're talking about, if you're talking about when they lived there, 
Um, when I used to go over there, first of all, Rev made me feel uncomfortable every time I went there. Oh, I love you, G-Man. I love you, G-Man. I love you, G-Man. I want you to have this. I want you to have this. I'm not, I wasn't asking for anything. He would just let me, he would say he want, he want me to have this, have this, have this. So I was so used to that, that eventually I went over there and I was like, what about these lightsabers? Like, what do you want for these or whatever? You know what I mean? He just told me I could take them. There was, there was no rent agreement because they they understood that they had a certain amount of time to get that paperwork um together to get their emergency section eight or a TRA or whatever. TRO, uh, yeah, oh, or yeah. Um, so you, what you're saying that instead of them talking to you about money or bills that they owed you, they would just be like, "Hey, do you want?" No, 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 no. That, that's not how it happened. That's what they said, but that's not how it happened. Oh, so how I would happened? go over there. And my ad, because, okay, here's the thing. When, when Shani first arrived in Pennsylvania, she knocked on the door. I answered the door. Uh, not not when she first arrived there. Uh, I think they were there for like a couple of days. But when, when we finally met, yep. uh, I came down from Jersey and she knocked on the door. And I opened the door and she had her arms fully extended and was giving me the PS5. And I told her to keep her PS5 because she's going to need the money. You know what I mean? Now, I didn't know about all the scam and all this mess and whatnot, that, what she was really all about and everything, <laughs> anything yeah. or nothing like that. So uh, I sh looking back at it, I should have probably took the PS5. Oh, but, hell yeah. Uh, they gave me a Nintendo Switch, and I almost got two of them. Um, they, uh, they, they, they started giving me all these games. They gave me microphone. I, like, I, it was one microphone I got. He told me it cost like two or $3,000 or whatever he gave me. Um, he, and they were living with the uncle when he was giving me that stuff. And then um, when they finally came to the house, I told them uh, since they wasn't working, they didn't have to give me anything. They just had to keep the place clean, take care of it, don't damage the place or whatever, which they didn't listen because they just, you know, those two would fight and it, it, would, it would be holes in the door, holes in the wall. Um, the kids would um, break certain things. Now, was that you know what I mean? from Shani, Rev, or both of them? Both of them. Both of them. Okay, well, both of them. Like I said, on the night, I'm sorry, not the night, on the evening where he turned down the job that was given to him, it was on, on, on this, uh, it was this blizzard that lasted about like, not blizzard, it was a snowstorm that lasted for like about uh, 20 or 30 minutes or something like that. But it put a lot of snow on the ground though. Uh, he was supposed to go out there and rake the leaves before that storm came. And yeah. um, and he said no. And then Shani went nuclear ballistic on him and took all of his stuff, his Nintendos, and threw all that stuff down the stairs, throwing it at him. And I, and, and then I asked her where he was when we got back. And, and and he had this leather jacket that said Killer Instinct or something like that on it. She threw that down the stairs too or whatever. And um, she told me that he had to go for a walk because she was mad that he didn't want to work. And she said that, you know, her cripple behind will get up and work if she has to or whatever. You know what I mean? But uh, but uh, when I went back to New Jersey, I was texting Shani and I told Shani, because I, 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 I was thinking about throwing them out right then and there because it looked like they were scamming me because they didn't want to work. And then she was agreeing with me saying, you know, he's a piece of he's a piece of this. He's a piece of that. Throw him out. You know what I mean? Get the job to me. I'll take it or whatever. We had a back and forth on the phone. I had those text messages, I think, too, by the way. <laughs> when all that happened, yeah, you. But you I think probably... I showed I showed all of that stuff on OP Ed Fred. <laughs> uh, so. you probably should have taken that PlayStation because the the uh, the owner of that motel ended up taking it when he padlocked the door. Which I I don't get that. Were they? I don't think they're lying about that. I think they they pawned it. That's what I think they did. I think they're lying about that. I think they pawned that thing. As a matter of fact, I think I think there? they sold it and gave the money to the uncle so the uncle can let them go in there. I think that's what happened. I I I don't think that 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 the people took it or whatever. Because I've met that guy the, um, from, from the uh, from the hotel. You don't look like he's he's caring or even remotely interested in that kind of stuff. Yeah, but um, they they said something about uh. That they they did uh, because the the copper they had to go. I remember you know I did the video where they're on the on television, and it looked like the the Cadillac was still in the uh, in 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 the parking lot. So like they never left. So they were there for like a couple weeks more until I guess Shani and Rev finally left somewhere together, and then when they came back, there was a padlock. 
I don't know. I don't know. You gotta remember, I'm, I'm not their friend at this point when that happened, so I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, well, like I said, man, it's been, it's been, it's been crazy. It's been a crazy, crazy ride. And every time I think that, all right, stuff is finally going to change. Okay. You know, kids were taken and like, they didn't even go to school, right? They were just homeschooling kind of children. I, mean, I don't want to really talk. Yeah, the kids was homeschooled. Zachary and William had those laptops and they had a schedule that they had to follow. Typical kid stuff. That stuff, uh which truly was being homeschooled. But uh, where I think, where, where my disagreements would came with them, I guess, early on with with uh, William, mm -hmm. they wouldn't let them go outside and do anything because they kept thinking that the YouTubers was going to come and kill them and, and uh, kidnap them and everything. Really? And they so would they, say they, that? That's they so had to stuff. sit in the house all day, every day. In perpetual fear. Yeah, that's... that's... Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, Shani... When I was there... I said, listen, go outside and go play. <laughs> I yeah, care what they okay. said. I told him to go outside and go play. I'll watch it. You know? Jenny couldn't tell me nothing because that's when she was trying to get, you know, the Delta 8 and all that other mess for me. And you, you know, know? I hate to say it, but the, the, the biggest person that was the threat and problem was I was Shane. a better father to those kids than Rev ever was. I couldn't believe that one day when uh, when Shani was had Rev driving to one son, I'm not gonna say his name, to the hospital. He felt a certain way because he was being bullied because at school they found out that she and Rev, they were doing OnlyFans. And she was trying to blame it on drag and blame it on anybody else that was talking about it. Oh my God, oh my God. But they're the ones that put this stuff out there. And All that was fake. All, all that was fake. They were just trying to um get them to stop talking about them. About As a matter of fact, that fight that they had uh, where they said that they was doing the the what is that the performance art or whatever? Yeah. Uh, Rev told me all that stuff was real. Oh, Rev really? said all of that was real. None of it was fake. Especially that last fight that they had in Colorado before they moved to, to, to uh, PA. He said oh. all that was real. Hey, the, the, the you just talked about the which uh, the switch you're talking about was that the one that was the kids? I think it was a. I think it was. I don't a, know who it belonged to. All I know is is that um. He gave it. Is to that you. I still got it. They barely use it. I think it was either yellow, the one of the kids, or there was some. No, I got the red one. There was a red one. See, uh, I would have to have someone check to see if the red one was one of the kids. I know. But she, I think Rev's she entire video game collection. Yeah. Did, well, almost the entire thing. I think for the games for the uh, GameCube, most of them games uh, Shani has because those were her games. Mm -hmm. But his entire video game collection I have. I thought he sold it. Or he was trying to. Sell he sold it. some of it. He sold some of it, but I have all of it. You're talking I about have like... all of his retro games. I have all of his original systems. And right now, uh, them systems are worth a lot of money. Them systems are uh, like to get a Sega Genesis, the the one I got from him. Mm -hmm. I think it's like two or three hundred dollars in, in the in the uh, in certain collection stores right now, collector stores. And everything works. Like the games yep. work. Yep, I got the Neo Geo still in the box and everything. So what, like, right after he got all that money, he just started buying uh, retro stuff? No, uh, believe it or not, when, when 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 he first got that money from his mom when she died and whatnot, he was being responsible. He was paying his bills. The only thing he wasn't doing was he wasn't uh, keeping up with the house. I guess because he was depressed because his mom passed and he was drinking a lot. But uh, he got reckless and stupid when he got involved with Shani. Hey, uh, G-Man, you had, you had, uh, they gave you 3 gas games? 3DS. Yeah, Nintendo. Uh, it's like uh, it's like a Game Boy, but like um, it's I think like... I do have that 3D that that 3D that 3D thingy uh, that yeah. they gave me. A lot of that stuff I don't even look at because I got it all in the um in a room with storage. Yeah, you should. You know what I mean? Because my plan was always to give that stuff back to him. Yeah. Did you hear what I just said? Like my plan was always to give that stuff back to him. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Rev's too stupid. You know, just let him stay in a squalor <laughs> until he gets a job. You know, I can't, I, I can't handle thinking about him too much because me and him are polar opposites, man. Yeah. I was in a situation. I've been out of that situation. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll ask you like one or two more things and then I guess I'll, I'll let you go. Like I said, I wasn't trying to be like, give you the third degree. I like, I was just really 
just curious like everyone else was, was like where the hell is he coming up with you get four years at an institution oh uh yeah yes you owe us six grand like i i was just so damn curious like where it all you know, i don't owe him nothing yeah he released me from any uh and he said this publicly and right. he said this on the phone That's right. he released me from any gratitude i wanted to show him or whatever so and and when I went over there with the whole sandwich bit and wanted to get him the uh the RV and all of that, he released me from everything. So I don't owe him nothing. Well, uh, how many how many boxes are you talking about that you have of electronic stuff that Rev said he games? Would, yeah, that he said he would buy back. Of the original stuff? No, like the three DS and all that shit. Like uh how much stuff do you have that he said he'd buy back? How much stuff would... you you mean the retros and the original stuff and whatnot? Yeah. I got at least a few thousand dollars worth of that stuff. No, so it's like it's in a, a few a few cardboard boxes. And some of it's brand new, it's never been opened. Like the like the Sega Genesis games, some of the Nintendo games. Wow. Some of that stuff okay. never been opened. Yeah. I bet he's got like earthbound on Super Nintendo. Um Yeah, I mean like, like a, hack, a lot of game. this stuff. When 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 they moved into the hotel, <laughs> you know what I mean, and and I yeah. and, and I was gonna sell it, you know, one of my things was to give them give them back that stuff because I don't want it, <laughs> you know what I mean. But uh, and when I say I don't want it, meaning I wanted him to have it back because Shani had her game. Shani didn't give me nothing. People think I'm exaggerating about that. She gave me nothing, absolutely nothing. It was always his stuff or the kid stuff, but never his stuff, never her stuff. I'm sorry. Uh, when you say it was never stuff, her stuff, like what type of stuff? That was the. What happened? When you say kids stuff, like what type of stuff? Plush toys or something? Yeah, things like that. Oh, but yeah. I ended up giving that stuff back to them. Like Zachary, for example, Zachary would come there and give me a Sonic the Hedgehog fluffy or something like that. And I give it right back to him because he'll ask for it the next time he sees me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so because Rev did say, and I remember him saying that, that he relinquished you for, uh, you know, the money and everything, how long would you give him until you want to, um, sell? Because there are potential buyers, man. People want some 3DS games. They're willing to pay you. Uh, I know people offered you money for the lightsaber. And I, I guess as long as they don't smell them, when when I'm not so busy, I'll I'll actually go through with trying to sell some of that stuff. But um, it is right now. I'm really 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 yeah. really busy with stuff. You, can you know actually what I mean? Go I gotta online. have profit. You barely got me on here to do this. So yeah, you yeah you know, I know. um yeah I could see you were busy. Uh, but yeah, you can go online actually. Uh, how much this stuff? Some some of those 3ds games they do quite a bit, especially. The Pokemons, and uh, if it's like a I mean, not that thing I got from them was a Neo Geo. Yeah, Neo I, Geo is worth Neo Geo. The system by itself is like eight hundred dollars. Yeah, and then the games are like uh four hundred a piece. And the games are like huge. <laughs> they're 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 mm -hmm. big ass games. Yeah, yeah. I got so many games; it's hard to keep up with all of them. All right, so uh, I guess uh, last thing I would ask you is, what what do you want? What do you want Rev to know? Basically, that like what he said about you and your four years in uh, mental is uh, ridiculous. Yeah, and the only thing I want to say to him is I tried. You know, he values. Um, how can I say this without being mean? Actually, you know what? I'm going to be mean. Uh, he values um, the Barracuda. He will not give up the Barracuda so he can get better. So let him have the barracuda. He has exactly what he wants. So since he has what he wants, he shouldn't complain about what he has and what he doesn't have. Hey, so, there's you have his magic cards. I had them. I gave them back to him. Oh, you As a did matter of fact, before okay. before all the lawyer stuff happened, he had me mail all of his heavy metal CDs to Colorado, and he had me mail um uh, all of his magic cards there. Oh. Okay, so sorry about that, yeah. Nicole. Nicole was like, I would take those <laughs> magic cards. I know he had a couple really, like, those sets, especially the all that. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, did he ever get anything from Colorado, all that stuff he left there? Or was that just gone? From Colorado? 
Yeah, all that stuff he left in Colorado. When I understand, because uh, Dragnet did a video on it, they left a lot of toys there and some stuff there. But I don't know, like, specifically what he... He said he left a lot of games there, and it made him sick when he thought about it or whatever. But his car wasn't that filled up. He could have he actually... If he would have packed his car properly, he could have actually got the um, got a lot more stuff in that car. But um, he had... He, when I went to the house the first time, he had a lot of games there. And then when he came down from Colorado, he had a lot of the same stuff again. It's like he uh, he left the stuff there, and then when he went to Colorado, he re all that stuff all over again. Hmm. Yeah. Like the amount of laptops. I remember when I went there the first time, he had like about – because I was struggling to have one laptop back then. And then when Shani, get, when Shani and Rev gave me that place, I instantly got about nine of them. And they were all like alien, like expensive. Two of them was Alienware, and they had an Acer and a couple. But some of that stuff I had to sell, though. Yeah. A lot of that stuff I had to sell. Yeah, a lot they, of they wasted. one of the laptops I got from him is is worth about eleven hundred dollars. Yeah, well, he I guess he did leave cards, but like you just said, uh, you mailed him. You wanted the cards back, and it. Heavy metal. And he wanted me to learn how to play uh, Magic the Gathering, but I never did it. Because he, and he knew I was against it, so, you know. Oh, you mean, like, for, like, religious reasons, like, playing, like, Dungeons no, and Dragons? No, I, I, I just didn't like, I, I just, yeah, yeah for, for religious, for, for religious reasons, and just didn't like the game, I didn't like the game in general. Oh, right. and you remember that video about that lady Ratchet? Uh, maybe. Can you describe it? He made a video on um on uh XX Archive talking about how Ratchet. Oh, not Nurse XX Ratchet. Archive. Was, Nurse yeah, Nurse Ratchet. Ratchet. Yeah, yeah. That's actually a true story. He wasn't talking about Shanny. Oh, this no. is lady. Uh, and uh, what's the name of that place? Dixon City. He probably don't think I know this, but uh, in Dixon City, um, there's a place over there, um where you can play like uh uh dungeons and dragons and like uh uh tgr games or whatever i, I think that i think they're called or whatever like Yu Gi Oh. you can play like um magic and all that stuff there and whatnot right mm -hmm. and that's the place where all of that stuff happened she i know that for cigarette? a fact because there's a lady who works there named ratchet <laughs> there's ratchet yeah he was all pissed like one flew over the cuckoo's nest. I'm like, what are you talking about? So what he did was he told everybody an old story in order to get a donation. Uh, well, you know, Bill Rev. With, yeah. Uh, with the donation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I thought, wow, it, it, it just felt like he wanted me to just help him maintain his relationship with Shani. Like, he feels like that, that, that if he can't get the things that she wants, she'll dump him. He doesn't even realize she has nowhere to go. It probably and she to needs it. him, and she and, and 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 if he doesn't provide for the rest of his life, she ain't going nowhere. Maybe they want you, you know? like a G man sin. <laughs> Ugh, no, <laughs> no, no. All right, man. Um, yeah, okay. Like I said, uh, I know some people were asking. I was just way curious because, like I said, he comes out of nowhere. I know. It had to have been at least a month or a month and a half. I'm, my, my timing's not so great. I've been busy. but It's been a bit since you were there, and I was just wondering, like, what the hell that's all about. But, yeah, thanks for uh, sending some oh, light It was impromptu. Go there, you know, try to help him, you know, but Shani don't even want the man to have a sandwich. I'm done with those two. Those two are crazy. So you ain't going back there ever again, just showing up? Nah, nah, I'm finished with them. I'm, I'm finished with them. And as a matter of fact, in 2024, I'm barely going to talk about them. Uh, New Year's resolution. And I mean that. Because I know because I know the worst thing that can happen to them is they go live every day and only two people are watching them. That's the worst possible thing that can happen to them. Hey, you know, maybe the best possible thing is to get them away from each other or get Rev away from her. Or whatever. Yeah, you know? and then they both can get their lives together. She can go. Everybody laughs at me, but if she goes back to Duluth and she kisses enough butt, somebody is bound to give her a bathroom to sleep in. You know what I mean? And then, um, and yeah, I meant to say bathroom when I said that. And then Rev will be forced to have to go find a job. Yeah, because she can go live with her brother or sister, and he can go live with his uncle. 
Yeah. I think somebody said that she has a warrant out for her arrest in, um, in uh, Duluth. But I think that she has a warrant in um, Scranton, though, too. How could she have a I think she has a warrant that? in Scranton. What'd she do? Think she didn't show up to court? They had a lot of domestic problems before they went to Colorado, and I think that's one of the reasons why they went there. Yeah. Oh, so she might still have a warrant. That woman is forever, for as much as she talks about calling the police on other people, that woman has constantly got the police in her life. Is there anything that, like, that anyone's told you about, like, the kids are never, ever going to be in their custody ever again? Well, probably the older I don't think they want them. I don't yeah. think they want them. She ain't one of those kids. Those kids, will be, those kids will be going back there. She don't want them. She doesn't try to get a damn job, that's for sure. She ain't gonna do one of her schemes and probably get them back, but you know, she ain't never getting those kids back. The the what she's gonna wait for is for one of them to turn eighteen. I think Carrie or somebody called it or whatever. Uh, she's gonna wait till one of them turn eighteen and then she'll trick them into working and taking care of them for the rest of her life. Yeah, because wasn't it? Uh, before you go, let me ask you: Wasn't it true that the one son had some sort of a uh, online presence and he was making money online? Oh, William. I think so. He had ideas about what to do. He was part of like a how can I say this? You know how they got the hater nation thinking on here and whatnot? Well, he's <laughs> part of a group. He he he's part of a group on here. Uh uh where they where they come up with creative ways to make money. Can you imagine if he made a channel talking against uh his mom and Rev? <laughs> I doubt that's gonna huge. happen. I know no, he'll definitely make a video against Rev. He'll definitely he'll, he'll probably do that one day. Yeah, but not against Shuni. I doubt that, it. That video that be that would go viral because you I know. feel bad for those kids because those kids wanted things like 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 normal kids wanted and whatnot, and and those who couldn't get, can't couldn't do it for them. Well, you know what I mean? Like like we want to talk about the birds and the bees and, and like the, the things like that and whatnot, and they wouldn't talk to them. You know? Yeah, that's what would be about them, that, You yes. know. The way that the way that Rev would talk to them, like it's such a snarky way, like, oh, I have so much money, like when they were at the uh And I don't mean literally snarky. the birds and the bees, because somebody's gonna hear yeah. me say that and then laugh at me later. I'm not talking about the literal birds and the bees. I'm just talking about they would be curious about things and they could never talk to them because Rev would always kick them out the room all the time. Oh, you mean when they just had adolescent questions? Let's just say. Yeah. Yeah. I I get you. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, and so, I, so Rev can say whatever he wants about me. Rev won't come to my channel and talk to me about this. He will never do it because he knows I'll eviscerate him. I'll destroy him. He knows it. Well, when he made that video on Friday, was that a response to any of uh, a video you made recently? Yep, I made that video as a direct response because Rev was lying through his teeth <laughs> about a lot of stuff. Yeah, I said from now on, moving forward. If the right people make videos about me and I don't agree with it, I'm not waiting years to respond. I'm going to respond right away. Yeah, no, I hear you, man. That, that's probably... I made know, that mistake once. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Well, that's kind of how I feel. I try to let things go. Then I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> people like me, they like me. They don't like me. I don't think there's anything much I can do to change. I mean, Basically. I've tried. You know, there's a lot of good people here. And there is. There's a lot of good people. That I don't want scammed or anything like that. And they're fun and they say funny stuff in the chat. And we all have fun, you know, when they're in the chat. And it is it could be a good atmosphere. It used to be a really great atmosphere. And then when some of these knuckleheads showed up, things started to get really, you know. Oh yeah, fucking. yeah, yeah. The people from the old guard came in here. I'm pretty yeah. sure they were saying like, "Why are you talking to G man? Why are you giving him a platform? He's a lowes cow." Blah blah blah. <laughs> and it's like, you want to know what? I believe your group is dead now. So I think you should be quiet and try to build your own channel now. That's what I would say to them. Right. And I'm gonna tell you something. It couldn't happen to a better group. <laughs> you know. And you know just... what I'm talking about, uh, Raven. Yeah, yeah. It just you know things get. It, the energy, the toxic energy. Like I have so, so many people, people, they get on here. Mm -hmm. Some people can come on here and talk about people's behaviors. I, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I get that, and I understand that. But then there are some people on here that seriously need to put their head in the sand and and and, and just pretend like you know other people don't exist because they ain't in the position to talk about nobody. 
you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would, you, you would. I, I just feel like the energy you have to put into, especially when you're talking against somebody. Sometimes I just don't have it. That's why it takes me a couple of days to stream in between my streams because, like, I'm so busy doing other things. By the time I'm like, I don't even have the energy to put in, you know, doing that. And I have to some of it's myself. boring though. I mean, I I watch (laughs) Carrie's stuff when she goes live, and 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 she won't admit it probably, but even she looks like she's getting bored listening to (laughs) shit. Yeah, Shani's just getting because she's getting Shani's getting ridiculous, you know. I think she overstepped her importance. Not you know, Shani's not important until or interesting unless crazy drama is happening, and then oh, there's a lot of people watching. Like I have screenshots where there's like five six hundred people. In Shani's live chats, because oh, I remember drama. that. Yeah, I remember that crazy drama. That was, was a long on. time ago when the dinosaurs roamed. <laughs> no, but it was. Yeah. It, it 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 happened because I had the screenshots. And I'm like, damn, you know, she'll never get to see that many that amount of people because okay? so many people don't like her, and they're probably just ready to, you know, hate watch flag the challenge. You shouldn't say that. You shouldn't say that about famous people like. Shani. Though. They're famous. They're movie stars. I can't believe they 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 think they never even got to the hundred thousand subs. Remember that goal that they were gonna get to? Yeah, that was funny. That was funny because they believed that they were superstars. Superstars. No, no, no. They're not well, superstars. I guess we'll wait to see what what they say now. You know. Um, uh, uh, let me save you some time. They're gonna be begging for money for food. It's gonna be around a. <laughs> 18th or something like that so that's what they're going to be doing and then shani's going to claim no 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 no. first she's going to claim she's in pain then they're going to start begging for food for food money what's she in pain though she doesn't do a damn thing it's not like she's cleaning the house they don't have a working uh vacuum cleaner did you know that you can get debilitating pain just for existing (laughs) i could see she has mental pain but like Mm. other than that other than that you know I mean? They both suffer from something that, that that there's a cure for. They suffer from extreme laziness. If they if they get fed up and they decide that they don't want to live that way no more for real, one of them would get up and actually do something with themselves. But they're lazy. Both of them are lazy. It ain't just Shani. It's Rev too. Both of them lazy. All right. All right. Let me ask you a question, Draven. Let me ask you a question. How do you feel about their marriage claim? Oh, dude, they're not married. How could they, if they were ever? If they ever what? Uh, oh, sorry. If, if, if they were ever, uh, what do you call it? Uh, if they were ever a uh, common law married, they wouldn't have been common law married, uh, you know, in the thing, in, in, in the, when they moved, because there's no common law in PA. Mm. All right. All right. Because he gets mad when people say that he's not married to her and whatnot. You know, and he if I, I wish somebody would ask him to define what fornication is <laughs> and what a, and and ask him what sexual sin is because they claim they don't do that. And I think I, I think to some point everybody on the planet has, except these two. You know. Are you there or are you just reading yeah. the chat again? Oh no! Uh, sorry, I was, I was, uh, I was just sent something. All right. Well, are we live? Can... Are yes. we live or are we uh, private? Oh no, we've been live. We've been live it's this whole time. You be having these awkward silent moments. <laughs> because I'm sorry, I gotta read the chat. I gotta see what people are asking me. It's a lot to, to stream. You must know that. But uh, here, I'll. You should uh... probably get somebody to do that for you. You gotta get a. You gotta get a. Um, well, I do. People say, "Hey, look at this," and then you know. But uh-huh. hey, I I guess I'll let you go. Uh, thanks for coming in. No problem. All right, I will. I'll talk to you uh, later. All right, have a have a good one. If if anything does come up though, let me let me know. But I doubt it. <laughs> All right, that is uh that's a G man, folks, and that's how the that's how. All right, I guess uh. All right, I will watch. Irax. But and then uh, I don't know about after that. <laughs>
I guess I I guess I'll see it, but thank you all for hanging. I do definitely. Raxo. Another little tidbit for you fucking assholes. I so talked lovely. to a few people yesterday, like I said. And this is for all you asshole trolls. I talked to a few people yesterday, and guess what? Some of them were in law. Yeah. And guess what? They explained to me, because I asked them what a real pedophile does. I asked them straight up. And guess what? A real fucking pedophile goes outside or has the intention to lure kids into doing shit. Therefore, I, like I am not a pedophile. I've had no <laughs> intentions on doing that shit. Oh, and to Danica Bloodhaven, you better watch your fucking ass, bitch. Because you motherfucking sat there and catfished me. Pretended to be of age. When really you were underage. And you think what you're doing is okay, bitch? No, it ain't. And you think your family's gonna come after me? Guess what, bitch? I will fucking sue your ass. Because guess what? What you did is illegal. Catfishing is a crime. It is illegal. You dumb broad. That's why no one trusts your fake ass. That's why you're a fucking known catfish. You dumb fuck. Grow up. You guys really think I'm going to jail? <laughs> yeah, fucking right. You yeah. wish. You wish that I was going to jail. You wish that I was going to get locked up. But I'm not. And guess what? The minute you try to press charges, I can turn around and say fuck you and get those charges revoked. Why? See, this is why. This is why Harris. Why he? Because he talks so much crap on. What is he on kick now? And then, and then he turns around and he goes, "Ah, uh, uh, they're, they're, I'm being harassed." But you're, 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 you know, you're gaslighting people to harass you, Sarah. Yeah, like uh, keyboards. I just noticed. Because what you did is illegal, and I can fucking prove it without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, I'll lower him a little bit. Yeah, he's a chomo. <laughs> so if you really think I'm scared of your bitch ass, think again. How many other victims have you done this to? How many other people have you catfished, bitch? How many others are there? Quite a bit, I bet. I bet there's quite a bit. And <laughs> you think I'm going to jail? Okay, whatever. Keep on believing your delusional fantasies, dude. Go ahead, because uh, your delusional fantasies are going to end you up in a fucking jail cell being Butch's little wife. Yo, I love when he talks and he, like, he has to close his eyes. <laughs> like he's trying to be real serious. <laughs> and that crazy. ain't no threat. That's a fact. Like I said, you dumbass trolls don't think that I know the law. I know the law better than every single fucking troll upon this bitch. Like I said, I got a family that are in the legal system. I have friends that are in the legal system. Uh -oh. That know the law all over the country. And they all know about what's going on. And they've all said that you trolls are dumbasses. And that what you're doing is illegal. And that at any given time, if I want to, I can come after you. Yeah, Legally, 100%. I can fuck your world up. And guess what? In due time, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fuck your worlds up. And show you Threats. that I'm not what you claim I am. You guys say I'm a pedophile? No, I'm not. What? 
You're a Geppetto. Because like I said yesterday, I talked to a few people outside of Facebook. And I showed them every single fucking thing under the sun from the very beginning. And how all this started. And guess what? They fly out said that what you guys are doing is illegal. Extortion, bullying, harassment, slander, defamation, illegal entrapment. On top of catfishing, doxing, uh, attempted murder, assault and battery, conspiracy to murder. And guess what? In due time, the Akron PD will be going down with you. <laughs> Why is that? Because guess what? I'll be suing the Akron PD as well. They shouldn't be calling me at 40. Tyrex, you're in your 30s. You know, I, I see someone like this. It's like very easy. Get Social Security, right? Get out. Live on your own. Don't tell anyone where you're streaming. Put a green screen behind you. And then, like, like you're golden. He doesn't even try. And I guess, uh, yeah, I'm probably like peaking, like, you know, like that's insane. Like, this dude could ever, never live on his own because he's so messed up. And I feel like he should be watched. But I feel like, you know, like his grandmother, Sally, she let, definitely let, let him down. He should be in a facility. You know, if he's always messing with people, getting into fights, talking with, even though he thinks it was, it's no big deal because they're not real 14 year olds. Yeah, well, he didn't know that at the time, right? Facts. Guys, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you all. So if you guys really fucking think that I'm going to stand here and take your shit, you're wrong. I'm not going to take your shit. Because see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk my happy ass out of this troll community, do my shit, and do what I need to do out of sight of you fucking retards. And then when the time is right, your asses are going to be dealt with by the legal system. And I won't even have to go to court. Oh, did it, oh man. Uh, I, I, man, I wish I would have saw those. Uh, I, I will, I'll ask him privately and I'll find out next time. Yeah. He was just like, well, what are you doing? Talking to me privately? Yeah, because G-Man, when, if I, you know, I got ADD. So if, if someone's talking to me like on the Discord or on something... Or in a chat, like, you know, I'm doing like 10 things at once. I got multiple monitors, so it's like my brain's going all over the place. But uh, I'll, I'll try to find out for you. I will not even have to lift a fucking finger. Hey, dude, brothers, I hope you're doing good. And I hope your friend, uh, I, I remember a little bit while ago, uh, you were talking about your friend. You need prayers. And I, you know, I hope uh, your friend's feeling uh, a lot better. Don't believe me. Like I said the other day in my video, ask your friend about the FBI agent that showed up that I sent. So you really think, you really fucking think that you're just going to walk around and fuck with people? Nah, dude. You're done. Everyone you <laughs> trolls, you're done. You're trolling? Over. Your bullying, done. Your harassment, done. Your channels, bye bye. So if I was you trolls, I'd be really careful about what the fuck I said because right now I have more than enough evidence to show that you guys have been bullying me, harassing me. Like, seriously, why does he keep doing this? He's been doing this for years and every time it bites him in the ass. I mean, sure, they just were showing up at his door multiple times on Thanksgiving. Can you I mean, it's not like he's got like a real family where they're sitting down and everything. Sure, you got the 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 grandma's boyfriend taking his perk thirties in the garage, allegedly, you know. But uh, you know what I mean? It's really it's it's just a such a it's such a messed up life, as and like he's 
be in this alone. You know, the more he does this, the more it just aches people. And but you know, I know he deserves it for Blind Billy, for the fourteen year olds that he harassed and did more, you know, sent disgusting messages to to the naked people we thought was little kids. Like he's just he shouldn't have access to the computer, you know, in my opinion. I'm sure in a lot of other people's opinions. Me. Extorting me. Blackmailing me. Not to mention the revenge porn from Marty. Oh, no problem. And all you other assholes. It's funny. You guys are so fucking stupid that you don't even fucking realize what you're doing. <laughs> you guys are out here victimizing people. Like I said... Go ahead and keep doing what you're doing because guess what? Every little bit of it leads back to you guys being fucking bullies and keyboard warriors. So for all you trolls out there, run while you can. What? That's right. But like I said, if you guys don't leave me alone, you know what's going to happen. Choice is yours. Either you leave me alone and you stop attacking me and my friends and family. Or, I just gather all my shit, gather all the evidence, gather everything showing that you guys harassed me, that you guys have been bullying me, that you guys attempted murder on my life, that you guys have swatted me, you've conspired to kill me, you've vandalized my house, vandalized my family's car, tried to commit three different times. Tried to commit Grand Theft Auto by towing. Stick a stylus in my Not to mention no, trespassing several times <laughs> over. Theft of over $100 easily. So, uh. Do you really want to go down that road? I don't think you do. So, if I was you, I would fuck off. Because right now, you're playing a very dangerous game. With someone who has nothing to lose. You don't have nothing to gain either. So go ahead. Keep playing this stupid game if you want. I'm out. I'm done. Yeah? I'm walking my happy ass out of this troll community. And sure. saying fuck you to all you trolls. I'm done. It's over. I won. I won by walking the fuck out of this bitch ass community. So, uh, to all your trolls, here's my final farewell to you. Sit and rotate, bendejos. Sit, rotate, and, uh... He's appropriating my culture. Ask me if I give a fuck about what you say or think, because I don't. So, to all you trolls out there... Go fuck yourselves. Bitches. Bitches. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old? Hey, right? How many times? But uh, you know. All right, guys. It did go a little. Uh... That's fine. In a bit. Uh, I'm gonna try some more consistent. Maybe I'll do one stream on Sundays and another one maybe on Tuesdays or Mondays or maybe Thursdays. So this way it'll be like every Thursday and Sunday, so you know. That I'll be around around eight o'clock. But uh, guys, thank you for. I had fun. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. I really, really, really appreciate it. I hope everyone like seriously did have a good time. And like I said, I just want to get back to everyone just, just chilling out and just having you know fun. You know, because it can just be fun. I am really just sick of the stupid drama. And like I said, I hope people can just move on uh, with their lives. But um, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good night. And yeah. Love you all. Bye bye.